Welcome to Far East Wargaming, bringing you another Horus Heresy battle report. This week, we're bringing you a full-length battle report mm -hmm. with the Empress Children Traitor Force that I will be playing. And Jason, what are you bringing? I brought again, once again, the Loyalist Death Guard, but I brought something that is very different because we are listening to your feedback. You want to see different kinds of lists. You want to see different rights of war. Number one, I'm playing with no right of war. Yeah. Number two, I have no Contemptors or Dreadnoughts of any kind. Mm -hmm. Number three, I have no heavy support squads. <laughs> so you're going to see something completely different this time out of the Death Guard, and we hope that you like it. So this week, what we're doing is we're playing a custom mission we're calling Destroy the Comms Array. Yep. So the Empress Children are defending the Comms Array, and the Death Guard are trying to destroy it. In the terrain review, or the battlefield review, we'll explain how it all works, but... It is a four-turn mission with a fifth turn on a two plus mm -hmm. and a sixth turn on a five plus. And it's weighted what we're trying to do is very even. We're trying to do something other than just objective control-based missions. Yep. This is a destroy yep. the control-based mission. Three objectives for the Death Guard to destroy, three objectives for the Empress Children to save. I'm also playing a different type of Empress Children force. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not playing a any right of war, but I'm going deep strike heavy. I'm bringing a lot of deep strikes. So it's going to be interesting there. It might be to my downfall if I can't get them in, but I do have a master of signals because he's vital for deep strike. <laughs> well, it makes a lot of sense, right? So what we also try to do with this particular mission, and again, we don't tailor missions. We don't tailor army lists. We try to let things happen as they happen. The Death Guard have a smaller, more elite force that is relying on getting in and trying to accomplish the mission. Yeah. And the Emperor's children, by chance, have a defensive force that is backed up by orbital assets, if you want to think of it yeah. that way. And it's totally different. So we're really excited about this one. There's a lot of customization in the mission itself. Mm -hmm. We think it's going to be pretty exciting. Yep. So we'll be back with the Battlefield overview and the game, and we'll see you in the post game. Here we have 3,000 points of Loyalist Death Guard. Leading this force is a Praetor in Cataphracti Terminator armor with a Thunderhammer. His Warlord trait is the Blood of Barbarus. Accompanying him is a five-man Cataphracti command squad. All have been upgraded with Thunderhammers. For dedicated transport, they will be riding in a Land Raider Proteus carrier with search light upgrades. The second HQ choice is a chaplain in Artificer armor. He has been upgraded with a power scythe and melter bombs. For elites, we start with a two man apothecarian detachment. Both of the apothecaries have been upgraded with Artificer armor. For the second elite's choice, we have a 10-man destroyer assault squad. The sergeant has been upgraded with Artificer armor and Phosphex bomb, as well as a power axe. Two of the destroyers have been upgraded with missile launchers, with suspensor webs and rad missiles. For the first troop choice, we have a five-man reconnaissance squad. All have been upgraded with Nemesis Bolters, one has been upgraded with an Augury Scanner, and one has been upgraded with a Nuncio Vox. For the second troop's choice, we have another five-man reconnaissance squad. Once again, they have all been upgraded with Nemesis Bolters, one has been upgraded with an Augury Scanner, and one has been upgraded with a Nuncio Vox. For the third troop choice, we have a 10-man tactical squad. The sergeant has been upgraded with Artificer armor and a Power Fist. And for dedicated transport, they will be riding in a Rhino with Searchlight upgrades. For the fourth troop choice, we have another 10-man tactical squad. Once again, the Sergeant has been upgraded with Artificer Armor and a Power Fist, and they too will also be riding in a dedicated transport Rhino with Searchlight upgrades. For fast attack, we start with a four-man Skyhunter Squadron. 
the Sky Hunter Sergeant has been upgraded with Artificer Armor and a Power Sword and will be using a Heavy Bolter. The three other Sky Hunters have all been upgraded with Multi Melters. For heavy support, we start with a five man Grave Warden and Terminator squad. The Chem Master and one of the Grave Wardens will be wielding power fists and assault grenade launchers. The three remaining Grave Wardens all have chain fists and assault grenade launchers. For dedicated transport, they will be riding in a Land Raider Proteus carrier with searchlight upgrades. The second heavy support choice is a Legion Scorpius. This has also been upgraded with searchlights. For the final heavy support choice, we have a two strong Sikorin squadron. Both have been upgraded with Laz Cannon Sponsons and searchlights. This rounds up 3000 points of Loyalist Death Guard. Here we have 3,000 points of Traitor Emperor's Children. The Warlord for this force is a Master of Signals with the Stoic Defender Warlord trait. For the second HQ, we have a Chaplain in Artificer Armor with a Warhawk Jump Pack. He has also upgraded to have a Phoenix Rapier. The third HQ choice is a Delegatus in Artificer Armor. He is wielding a Power Sword and Thunder Hammer. For his retinue, he has a five-man Phoenix Terminator squad. One of the Phoenix Terminators has upgraded to a standard bearer, and the entire unit has Sonic Shriekers. For elites, we start with a two strong Contemptor Dreadnought Talon. Both are wielding Kerry's Assault Cannons and Gravis Power Fists with inbuilt Graviton Guns. The second elite choice is a five man Destroyer Assault Squad. The Destroyer Sergeant has been upgraded to Artificer Armor and is also carrying a Phosphex Bomb. The rest of the unit is standard. For the third elite slot, we have a 10-man Palantine Blade Aquila squad. The Palantine Prefector and four of the Palantine Blade Aquilas have Phoenix Power Spears. Five have Phoenix Rapiers and the entire unit has taken Sonic Shriekers. For troops, we start with a 10-man tactical squad. The sergeant has been upgraded with Artificer Armor and a Power Fist. For the second troop choice, we have another identical tactical squad. Once again, the sergeant has been upgraded with Artificer Armor and a Power Fist. For fast attack, we have a two strong Javelin Squadron. Both have been upgraded with Pintle Mounted Multi Melters and Sponson Mounted Las Cannons. For the second fast attack choice, we have a four man Sky Hunter Squadron. The Sky Hunter Sergeant has been upgraded with Artificer Armor and the entire unit has upgraded to Multi Melters. For the third fast attack choice, we have a Storm Eagle gunship. This has been upgraded to a front facing Multi Melter and twin linked Laz Cannons on the wings. This will be acting as the transport for the Delegatus and his retinue. For heavy supports, we start with a 10-man heavy support squad upgraded with missile launchers. 
The sergeant has been upgraded with artificer armor, and one has been upgraded with an augury scanner. For the last heavy support, and the final unit for this force is a nine-man cacophony squad. The orchestrator has been upgraded with artificer armor and a subsonic pulsar. This rounds up 3,000 points of Traitor Emperor's Children. And the battlefield today, we're playing Hammer and Anvil Deployment with the Death Guard being on this side of the table with some nice ruins to give them some cover. But the objectives are all on the Empress Children's side of the table. So for today's objectives, there are three. There are two power generators, one over here and one in the corner over there. And also the main satellite array. We've given these AV-13 fronts for the power generators and AV-14 front for the satellite with all of them having AV-10 rears. The satellite has five hull points and each of the generators have three hull points. And we've also said that the penetrating hits give D3 wounds or hull points there. Versus shooting, these guys all have a three plus save from their void shields. But versus close combat, they only have a 5 plus save there. Both of those being in vols. Turn 1 goes to the attacking side, unless the Emperor's Children sees. Deployment for the Emperor's Children. We started off on our right hand side here with a 10-man tactical squad just behind one of the generators looking to defend that objective from CQB. Behind them is the nine-man cacophony squad with the orchestrator in the back there. Taking the center is our two-man dreadnought Talon. They are looking to have some versatility, maybe having to split up if needed, depending on how the Death Guard deploy. On the other side, we have kind of mimicked the same thing with another 10-man tactical squad behind the generator and the 10-man missile launcher squad with the Warlord Master of Signals right in the center covering this side of the board. We need him alive for turn two to help us get these deep strikes in. That's the deployment for the Empress Children. And for the Death Guard deployment, starting on my left flank, we have the Land Raider with the Grave Wardens and the Chaplain to kind of anchor this side. Next to them is the Destroyers, the Destroyer Assault Squad with Jump Packs. They are exposed a little bit, but I do have the benefit of some Ruins cover, um, and they want to play pretty aggressive. So behind them, behind the Land Raider, is actually the one of the Rhinos with the Tactical Squad with the Poth Carry. So I have just a little bit on this left side, and that's actually by design as well as kind of forced my hand. In the middle, we have the Scorpius, who has a searchlight, if it's night fight, who wants to take advantage of a line of sight to basically just ignore a lot of the, uh, the negatives of firing barrage. And since we're Death Guard, we can always move and shoot, so no rough things there. On this side, as you can see, we have a massive parking lot. And part of it is because I wanted to reinforce one of the flanks, but the other reason is there's just more cover over here. We've got the Command Squad's Land Raider uh, with the Praetor there towards the front. Right behind them, we have the Sky Hunters, four strong, with uh, mostly with multi multos but one with a heavy bolter. We've got the Sakaran Squadron as well. So both Sakarans are over here in the ruins, ready to move forward and pick on their targets. On the opposite flank at the very edge, we have also the other Tactical Squad Rhino kind of hugging the side. And then finally, taking advantage of their skirmish plus the ruins, we have both of the Recon Squads who have positioned themselves to be out of range of the missile launchers, but the ability to shoot 72 inches is really going to work in their favor. I'm also kind of keeping them back because of the fact of their um, augury scanners allowing to intercept should I have any deep strike shenanigans in my back rank. But yes, this summarizes the Death Guard deployment. 
So as always, we have the obligatory fist bump. Good luck, sir. Good luck. And we also have a chance to sneeze the initiative coming from the Emperor's Children. You want to roll that, Rich? I do. I need a six here. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's a one. It's a one. That's the opposite of what I needed. Death Guard, turn one, next. So kicking off things with the Death Guard turn one, I'm going to start moving very aggressively. Now we are giving you a full battle report on this one, don't worry, but we're not going to film each and every single little move because there's going to be a lot of them. We'll be back in just a minute with the results of those movements. Movement for the Death Guard, and we played incredibly aggressive with absolutely everything. So on the left-hand flank, of course, we've moved up the Grave Warden's Land Raider as well as the Rhino behind it to take some pot shots in just a moment. We've got the Destroyer Squad back here. Now, I do still have to take my Dangerous Terrain checks uh, because of the fact that I am not running any of the Rites of War that have that any sort of abilities there. So this is for the seven normal guys with dual pistols. And we've killed two. Whoa. And yep, and then here's the two guys with missile launchers. They're good. And then here's the Sergeant. He's fine as well. Oh, so just two so normal close. guys kill themselves getting out of the terrain. Unfortunate, but it happens. So we'll go ahead and kill those two guys right now. And then over on this flank, I do also owe some checks on the jet bikes because the jet bikes were moving out of difficult terrain in the ruins. So this is for the three guys with multi uh, One of them takes a wound and for the sergeant, he's fine. So just one guy from the jet bikes with a multi takes a wound. So we'll go ahead and put that there. There are two wound models. Unfortunately, as you can see, I have a Land Raider stuck in a ruin because I did roll a one on the difficult terrain check for that guy because it is a vehicle and a difficult is treated as dangerous and we did manage to immobilize ourselves. But the rest of that flank did move forward. That is going to hurt me a little bit because that is my command squad with Thunder Hammer goodness and I don't really want them walking across the table, but it is what it is. So that summarizes all of the movement for the Death Guard and we'll come back in just a moment with some very important shooting. Shooting for the Death Guard, and we're going to start with the jet bikes. The only thing that they're actually in range of is the closest contemptor of the Emperor's children. So it is night fighting, which we did ne neglected to mention at the very beginning of the game, so we'll, but we'll mention that now. So I've got three multi meltos and one heavy bolter going into that contemptor. What would you like to do, sir? I'm going to have to eat it, I think. All right. Well, here goes the multi meltos. So these are hitting on fours due to night fight twin link. So that's one hit so far. And there's going to be two hits. And then rolling to wound on this. Looking for threes because you're toughness seven. Uh, we're not in armor bane oh, range. That's no wounds. No wounds. And so it begins. And now we have a heavy bolter. So What's heavy... this wound? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, two hits. And then I'm looking oh, for those sixes, sixes again. again. Uh, no. no. So it adds to six. Does that count? <laughs> All right. Unfortunately not. <laughs> so that was very ineffective. Um, next up, I'm going to go to the Sakarans. Now, I've positioned the Sakarans where both of them can completely draw a line of sight on your cacophony. So what would you like to do with them? Oh, it's on the cacophony. Oh, Indeed it is. These are rending, right? These uh, are rending potentially on the main gun, but I've also got heavy bolters in the hole and las cannons in the sponson. Oh, this is a tricky one. These guys here are pretty valuable for me, but I think I've got to... Actually, I have two shooting phase reactions. You do? So I will... Elect to save... Oh, elect to save these guys. Oh, no, no. No shroud for these. They're gonna, they're, oh, they can't shroud anyway. They're fearless. They're fearless. So there's no shrouding, there's no options. I can return fire, but returning fire is gonna be completely ineffective Correct, against sir. vehicles. So they're just gonna eat it. All right. So here <laughs> we go. for nothing. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the turrets. So this is gonna be six shots each. Yeah. All right, I need one more dice, excuse me. Uh, these have searchlights as well. So that's the reason why they can draw the line of sight. Okay. So here's the turrets, hitting on fours. Oh, it's not very good. I can't remember if these things are twin linked or not. Let me just do a quick check. It'll take me just a second because that was only two hits out of 12. Um, just one moment. We're getting there. We're getting there. Are right, these guys going to still be alive after this shooting phase? It could be a very painful shooting phase for turn one. It's quite possible that they'll still be alive because you see how my dice are. Um, and sorry, everyone, if I'm looking this up, it's because this used to be twin linked and it's not anymore. So just uh, two. Just two. Yep. So just two hits. And hitting twos to wound. Twos to wound, rending on a six. Uh, there's one rend, so you'll get a cover save five up and, and one normal save. So I will take... Um, I'll take it on the sergeant. I'll risk it for the normal save. This is a dangerous one, but uh, that's fine. There's a six 
and oh, the not very good dice to, to film with these ones. I think we need to fix this in the future. Yep. And then uh, this one's a five up, right? For the, the five rend, up, yep. For the rend? Yep. No, that's, so one the one, that's the one I didn't want on the first one. So one guy is dead. Okay. We're losing one guy from that shooting. Okay, let's go on to the heavy bolters then. This yep. is going to be eight shots. And oh, that's a bit better. I would have liked that on the main gun. I'm happy with this now. Threes, right? <laughs> Threes, yeah, strength five. Uh, oh, there we go. That's so that's going to be um, four. Now, do remember that uh, we play the Goonhammer rules. So I can three more. You I get can three do... more on the Sergeant. Okay, well, yes, let's just do it because why not? One. Oh, that was close. Very close. Two. That's a four, so you're okay. And this one is uh, another four, so that's there. And then one three plus, right? That's okay. correct. Just a three plus save. Yep. And there's the three we needed. Okay, here's the last cannons. Oh, these are gonna hurt. These are gonna hurt. So, Come on. well, when you only hit once, they don't oh, hurt. Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. My dice are excellent right now. Uh, that is a cover save on a normal guy. So it's a five plus cover save. That's correct. Nope, and there's the one again. These ones are coming for the cover saves. I'm glad, not for the ones I can try and save. So that's two guys dead. That's two guys dead. Yep, so far. All right, next up, I'm going to go ahead and go to the land raider that immobilized itself. I think the only thing I can basically do is I think I can shoot a heavy bolter, maybe? A heavy bolter and one sponson, I think, at the same target. Can uh, they be seen? Let me check. Let yeah, me just check. check on the other side. Uh, yeah, I can see it. Awesome, then. Okay. Go ahead. All right, so the immobilized land raider, then, with searchlight, is going into the same cacophony. Also, oh, everything's got searchlights. <laughs> yes, everything that can have a searchlight has a searchlight. All right, so here's the heavy bolter. Uh, twin linked. Twin linked indeed. Yep. Uh, that's three hits. Three hits and three is to wound. Yep. And that's one wound. You can and take I can this. take this on the sergeant again, right? Because it's yes. a new shooting. It's a phase. new shooting unit. A new so. shooting unit. Yeah. So sergeant, there's a two again. Skin of my teeth. All right. This sergeant here. Yes, he's holding on. Last cannons. Last cannons. There's one hit. One hit. And one cover save. One your choice, cover sir. save. Okay. I'm just gonna have to take a five up. I have saved Golden. this five up. You First time. You laugh at my inferior technology. Yeah, you immobilize yourself, and now you can't shoot. I know, I'm terrible. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go into Sniper Squad. So uh, the first Sniper fun. Squad is actually going to fire at your missile launchers. Yeah, this is the fun one here. I think these guys have my Master of Signals, which is my Warlord, and I've got a feeling you're going to snipe him with rounds. I don't know. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I do need him alive. Uh, I think I'm going to have to take a Shroud at least on this one because you're, I'm sure you're going to shoot the second one, uh, this unit as well, and most likely also this nasty, nasty Sikarin. But I can allocate to other people for the Sikarin. I can't really allocate for these two sniper squads. Correct. So let's just take the first sniper squad and hope you hit a lot and miss a lot on the next one. Okay. <laughs> so here's the first sniper squad with Nuncio Vox and Augury Scanner. Yeah, so this so is the fours. reason why I can shoot. So with four is, ooh, that's a good that's roll. That's a good roll. That's three. And they're all sniper. And now these are fives to rend. And threes to wound. Threes to wound. And I can allocate as I see fit. Yeah, because right, they're so all sniper, go. right? Yep. Uh, no oh, rends. so one wound. I'm going to make you take the one wound on a normal dude, because I don't want you to tank it on a two up. Uh, okay, normal dude. Oh, I'm glad I didn't take that on my sergeant, because that is a one. So that is one guy down here. Okay. We're going to take a guy from the edge. And you're going to need to take a pinning check immediately. Oh, and I don't suffer the leadership penalty because of the Nuncio Vox inside the Ogre with the um, Master of Signals. So no minus one leadership for night fighting. Okay. There. And so that's a leadership nine. And, and that is a nine. You're and lucky that, there was no penalty. Six. Lucky there was and no that penalty. Is a three. Okay. Oh, that could have been. Problematic. Good. All right, so here's the second squad. Hopefully they can be more effective. So again, trying to hit you on four. So no shrouds on this one, sadly. Yep. And two oh, hits. Two hits. Okay, and now you need these wrens on fives again. Indeed. And threes to wound. Yep. That's oh, that's two wrens. And I'm, that's, yeah. I'm going to make you take both of those on the Master of Signals. And he's only got two wounds, right? I know. That's the reason why I'm oh, making you take it. So these are five up involves. Yep. Uh, does he get a cover save as well? Because oh no. Well, your cover save and your invulner are going to be the same. same. They're going to yeah, be a exactly, five up. Yeah. So. Oh, I need to save one of these, or this could go bad. No, that is two ones. That is the master of signals and the warlord down, and that really Whew. could damage my deep strike ability because I can't re-roll that coming in, and I've also lost the nuncio box I needed. As well as the ability to give your leadership uh, bonus to other members of uh, yes, nearby for, units. for the Nuncio Vox. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. So that is a dead Master of Signals. 
Wow, going down very first turn. This is going to be an uphill battle. You owe me another pitting check. I do, and now it's on a seven. So on a seven, that's an eight. They are pinned. All right, well, that's going to help me wow. a lot. I needed that, needed that. Okay, um, next up across the table, we're going to go with the lander right here. Now, remember, because Death Guard essentially always count as being stationary, I can fire everything without penalty. That's why you're seeing this. Uh, we're going to fire the heavy bolter and the las cannons into the missile launchers because that is the squad that can actually really do some hurt to me. Mm, and they're pinned, so they can't react anymore, even though they have reacted already. So it's a mute point. Yep. Just here, hitting on fours. All right, here's the las cannons. Again, we have a one. Uh, one. One. We, we have a one. searchlight. Yeah. And so that's going to be two. One two, cover save. And a five up cover save. Come on, get some. Uh, nope, that's another guy dead. Okay. So that's a two there. All right, and here's and the heavy, heavy bolters. bolters. Twin links. I get some saves on these. So and one hit. Needed those. Riders, nothing wants to hit. Needed these twin linked. Okay, okay. that's better. That's three. better. And threes to wound again. Threes. Uh, two wounds. Two and wounds. This you can tank if you would like, sir. I think I have to, really, because these guys are pinned and going down. And we'll see. So tanking on the sergeant. Don't roll a one. There is a four for the first one. And then there is a four for the second one. The sergeant has managed to tank that. Yep. Uh, I don't think we've lost. Uh, we lost one guy, right? No, no, we saved it. So we've lost two, two guys total there. So I don't think we're taking any pinning to leadership checks yet. Not yet, but now we've got uh, everybody's favorite friend maker, the Scorpius. The Scorpius there. Where are you going to place this? I'm guessing right in the middle of something? Right in the middle of your missile launcher. Ah, uh, OK, so I think you're going to be placing to get the most. We're going to pull out the template. Uh, it's underneath the table there in the green box. Yep. I'm going to grab it. And it's, right. uh, it's the five inch big blast template, right? It is the big blast. I do count as stationary. So this is the one that breaches. It would pin, pin as well, but we don't need that right so now. So you want the one with the most possible. And I think this guy at the back here, in the, right in the middle, gives absolutely everybody. OK. And so now you're doing direct fire with this. Right? I am doing direct fire. It's not a barrage. So you can negate your leadership penalty, uh, your ballistic skill from this. Yes, I can deduct my ballistic skill. It is night fight. But, uh, but it's only a ballistic skill of three now because three now, of correct. the night fight. Yep. So let's see. Come on. Now, I do have Nuncio boxes and Augury scanners on the table, so that does allow me to re-roll a DV8. Uh, where are they? Can, can they? Oh, they're on the, yeah, they're on the Sniper snipers squad. who can see the entire table. Yep. Oh, this is not going to be good for these guys. Right. Go ahead and roll. See what happens. Uh, that's going to be a Ooh, deviation that way of four, four inches. Do you want to roll that? I or? think we're going to re-roll that. Okay, we're re-rolling this. Now go 12. Oh, that's on target. On target. All right. Oh, uh, that's everybody. That is, uh, who is alive? Two, four, six, eight, nine guys alive. Oh, and these are rending because of the rule, the way this rule is written. Yeah, breaching, rending. I can't remember which one, um, but it, it well, is breaching, on a four breaching, up. Breaching, breaching, four up. I think it's twos to wound. Yes, sir. Breaching four, but they do have a cover save. Yes, sir. Can't shroud this. Right. Go ahead. Here we go. All right. Oh, that's going to be oh, four, four breaches, breaches and three normal wounds. Three normal wounds. Okay. Well, let's just take these by the normal wounds first, and let's uh, sergeant sergeant tank it. Yep. So, sergeant tank it here. First one. There is a four. Second one, there's another four. Come on, save the last one. There is a three. Okay. That is those three saved. And then I've got four in, well, four, four cover breaches. saves. Four cover saves? Yep. For these four here, really. This is such a nasty piece of work on this. <laughs> it's five up cover saves here. And that is two saved, one over here and one there. See, that's not too bad. You that all of that to lose two guys? Two more dead. We'll take these from the back of the thing. So that is four down from 11. Is that a check I have to take? It is a break check. You are pinned from the snipers already, so yeah. you can't be doubly pinned. But you do have to make a break check for casualties. OK, and this is going to be on a seven. A seven indeed. Oh, let's not flee off the board. That is a five. That is a two and a three that was rolled. We should clear the dice next time. <laughs> exactly. That's all right. Um, okay. So that uh, summarizes a decent, decent death guard shooting phase. I would have liked to have killed more of the cacophony and actually put a wound or two on the contemptors, but that's just me being greedy. Um, <laughs> complaining about killing my warlord. <laughs> complaining about complaining, yes. Uh, that does summarize pretty much the entire turn because I'm not close enough to assault with anything. We will come back with Emperor's Children in just a minute. Okay, that was a painful 
start of turn one for the Empress Children. Losing my Master of Signals and my Warlord gives Jason one victory point and really, really hurts me for trying to bring in all of my Deep Strike. And I have a lot of Deep Strike that need to come in in turn two. If they come in in turn three, this game might already be over by that point. Uh, it's the risk we took with this scenario and the way we wanted to play the Empress Children. We have a lot of Deep Striking in. It has to come in. But for the movement phase, we're going to just move straight over. There's not a lot moving because, one, my missile launchers are pinned, which is annoying in itself. But I think it's only the Contempt is going to move because everything else kind of has range for what it needs. And I can't really damage any of his vehicles yet. So the Contemptor over here is going to move his full eight inches into this side of the table. And then this Contemptor here is going to move his full eight inches as well to that side. We are going to have to cover these small generators. He is not seeming to yet go for close combat for the main satellite dish, but we will move on to the shooting because that was a very quick and sweet movement phase for the Empress Children in turn one. Shooting for the Empress Children, and we're going to start with the Contemptor over here, and he's going to shoot at the Rhino in the back because really we can't really do anything against this Land Raider. It's going to move forward on its own, I Yeah, think. you got some grab and some rending, but probably the Rhino's the better choice. So we're going to start off with the carries into the side arc, because we are in the side arc of this Rhino. Okay. And uh, like you said, everything that has searchlights, want, but it's within 24 inches anyway. Yep. So we've got six shots here. Six shots hitting on threes. Threes for night fight, yep. So that's a miss over here, and everything else is hitting. I need these sixes again. Yep. Uh, now it's strength six versus armor 11. Needing so fives. So fives to glance, sixes to pen. Yep. No sunder at all here. And that is one glance, and that is it. Okay, I'll just take it. Yeah, and then, so one glance. We have measured, this is 18 inches to the very corner of this, which is going to, if it's a perfect shot, it's going to hit both of these guys. Okay. So we have the scatter dice. So this first for the Rhino or the Land Raider? This is going for, well, it's going to scatter first. It's got yeah, to, yeah, but which vehicle are you? Oh, it has to be. Oh, yeah, you got to scatter. My fault, my fault. It has to be the Land Raider. Sorry. Uh, sorry, it has to be the Rhino. Sorry. Little brain dead moment there. So we'll roll this, and, oh, that's five. It's an inch off because uh, minus three, yep, right? Yep, so I think you're still going to Oh, no, minus get... two inches. Minus two inches. Minus two one, because your list goes to five exactly. to four. Yep. So minus one, so and it's in this direction. Yep. I still think it hits both. I think you yeah. do. Yep. Fair so enough. we'll do the land raider first just to get it out okay. the way. Haywire table. Haywire table. That's a automatic pen. That is a pen. So now so, roll the penning result. Uh it's two D six or just one. One, <laughs> one D six. It's just one. And there's no it's eight it's what's no modifiers. No modifiers. No. Nope. That's just a stun. I think it does nothing, just a whole point. Just a whole point. So if you can just mark that for me. He's so, got four left. I got yep. some red dice over there in the corner. So he's got four left. Yep. Over here. And the reason why it doesn't really do anything, everybody, is because this is the reinforced subtype. So it ignores the shaken result. And then this is now for the rhino. All right, let's see what we got. That's, That's a, five. a five. So that is a glance. Yes. So that means I've so suffered two, two whole points, points on that got rhino. One left. I got one left. Oh, I would have liked to have destroyed that. Where's the one? This is the one on these dice. Okay, what's um, next? Next up is the missile launchers. The missile launchers, So they right. are pinned. So the best target, honestly, was across the board at the other Rhino, which is in range and line of sight. But we're yep. fishing for a sixes here to even get a shot. I'm going to so, let this go through because I'm counting on your snap shooting. <laughs> well, let's hope for some sixes, guys. All right. Seven shots looking for sixes. Let's see what we got. And we have two sixes. Of course, that's what I get. Two for, ones and a five and a three. That's what I get. All right. Let's two sixes. Look. Now this is strength eight yep. versus armor. Three is the glance. Three is the glance. Yep. Okay, that is be, two pens. Two pens. Okay. So we'll do the foot. Well, just do both of them. Just right? do both of them. You can't blow me up. So yep. let's just see what happens. So that is a stunned, stunned and a shaken. shaken. So, so two whole points. If you can give me a red points. dice, please. Red dice over here. You got one left as well on the that red one. dice of shame. I've got one left on this rhino right here. That's uh, not bad shooting from that pin squad there. Okay. I think for the shoot, the rest of the shooting, we have a, another contemptor over here. Okay. I need to get rid of that. I do not want to take return fire from these melters of these. Oh, but why not? Uh, because I, I'd like to stay alive <laughs> for at least <laughs> another turn here. Okay. We will shoot again the six carries at the side of the uh, rhino. Okay. And this is going to be hitting on threes again. Indeed. Uh, that's only four hits out of, no, sorry, three hits. That was a one. Okay. Three hits. Again, looking for those fives. Looking for the fives. Any fives going to get them? 
and that is a pen. The pen. Okay. I don't think I can blow you up. No, nope, so you can't blow me up. It is just destroyed there. It is. I got some guys I need to get out, and because of the way the vehicles are positioned, I'm going to have to get out something like this, yeah. as you can see right here. And the other guys coming on the side here. We'll, we'll mark this rhino with some smoke in just a moment. There's a smoking wreck for that. Okay, you got some smoke for me? Yes. There we go. Womp, 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 womp. One rhino down. That leaves some targets, but the thing is, I'm actually going to leave that tactical squad. I'm not too worried about them. Okay. I'm more worried about these, uh, the Sky Hunter squad in the center there. So okay. my cacophony, which has been whittled down, but still alive, okay. is going to start shooting at these guys here. Um, we're going to shoot, we're going to roll that off camera because there's a lot of threes, uh, three dice that need to be rolled here. Yes. And we'll be back with the result and continue the shooting phase in a moment. So Rich has made his rolls off camera. There was a few gets hot, but nobody died, unfortunately, for the Death Guard. And I managed to get nine wounds through. So we're going to roll the wounds on camera here. Because yep. we do get some Death Legrates. You have elected to shroud this. Yes, so I did. So you can tank on your sergeant. Did you give him artifice or armor? I did indeed. Ah, OK. So here, looking for twos, because strength six. OK, how many we got here? Oh, that's a lot. That's everything. That's, that's everything. Nine. That's, that's nine. nine. Nine wounds. OK. So let me grab some dice. I'm going to start with the sergeant one yep. at a time. That's there's, a five. There's one. That's there's a three. Two. That's a five. There. And that's, that's four. So we four take the first four. And then now these are five on normal guys. Yeah, five on normal. Might as well roll them. They're all two wounds, right? And yep. you still get your shrouds. Threes. And I fail Everything nothing. Everything is saved. Huh? Three fail nothing. That is uh, painful for these guys. Mortarian protects. So what we're going to do basically then, we're going to again shoot the... Uh, tactical squad. Yep. It's just going to unload everything it can into the jet bikes again. Okay. Uh, just because it's 10 guys, two, three, four, six, eight, nine, another dice. Okay. Hitting on fours. We These are kind of the worry ones because of those melters. Yep. Hitting on fours. That is not a great roll. That is only four hits. Okay. Wounding on fours as well because yes, they lost their toughness. That is two wounds that you can tank on your sergeant. And I shall. Okay. First one. Oh, that's a six saved. And that's a four. Hold save. Oh, that is the end of the shooting phase for the Emperor's Children. I don't think we have an assault phase. So we're going to go into turn two. But we're going to roll first for night fighting, see if it continues here. Okay. So it's on a four plus, I think, for night fighting. No, it is no longer night fighting. That is a two. Daylight for the Death Guard in turn two. They like come, we want to go home. <laughs> so after that turn one from the EC, I'm actually feeling pretty good in my chances. It could have been a lot worse, but I think pinning the missile launchers and reducing the number of cacophony really helped me out there. And I didn't lose any of my vehicles except for one Rhino, so that's pretty good. As we did in turn one, we're going to do the movement of the Death Guard off camera because there's just a lot of it. Uh, and we'll come back with the results of that movement in just a moment. So turn to movement, we started off with the Land Raider with the Grave Wardens and the Chaplain. He moved forward his bare minimum so they could still get out because we want to put ourselves in a position to charge our choice of targets. Thanks to the dangerous terrain of the grab that was there, we didn't fail to check this time on this Land Raider, so that was always very helpful. I did react. You did? When the Land Raider moved, my Contemptor, because we kind of do have to protect this, and in hindsight, Maybe the tactical squad should have sacrificed their bodies in front of this and given me another turn. But hindsight is 2020. but we're trying with the Contemptor to move forward anyway. The Emperor's children are too proud to do the right thing sometimes. Uh, next up was the destroyers with jump packs. So they managed to clear the wall and put themselves also in a position to charge. They may end up actually charging the Contemptor, believe it or not, just to act as a bit of a speed bump. Uh, the Rhino with the tactical squad over there also moved forward, did not fail any sort of checks. Uh, we moved our full distance available. We did not get out because we uh, are snap shooting with that unit thanks to a penetrating hit in the last turn. So there's really no reason for them to get out of the Rhino. Coming over to this side of the board, we're playing very aggressively with both the jet bikes and the tactical squad to put them in position to either shoot generators or targets or block that contempt from a rampage. And they do have melt bomb on the sergeant uh, of that jet bike squad, so that is a bit helpful there. Then over here, we did not move the Sakarans whatsoever because there honestly is no reason. If we get closer, it just makes it easier for the Contemptor to charge us, and their desired target is either the shield generator or the cacophony. 
Finally, last movement, we did get the command squad with the Praetor out of the Land Raider because we're not going to just sit there forever. They need to be able to respond just in case of a deep strike and or in case of the Contemptor getting closer to us. So, pretty aggressive once again. We think we're going to start targeting some of the shield generators in just a moment, but we'll be back with the shooting. Shooting for the Death Guard. Now remember, we're playing customized rules on these shield generators. They do have a 3-up invuln from shooting attacks, but only a 5 in close combat. Uh, they do have 3 hull points for the two smaller ones, uh, and they are AB-13. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot the jet bikes there, because I intend to charge in anyhow. So we're going to start with the 3 multi meltos. Now these are hitting on 3's twin linked because it's no longer night fight. This is what I hope can do the damage. So 3's, and then twin linked. All hit, and now we are in armor bane range. So this is strength eight versus 13 is the first one. That's gonna be a pen. The second one is going to be nothing. And the third is going to be a pen. So you wanna roll your two three up invulns on the shield generator, two, three thanks to its void shield. One. Uh, one goes through, okay. and one is a six. So you get D3 on this. All right, so five or six on the shield generator is destroyed. And it's a four, four, so it takes two hole points. It's remaining on one. One left there. It's still hanging by by a thread. Yep. Uh, the heavy bolter itself or none, uh, can't really do anything, so there's nothing else that can hurt it, so that's not too bad. All right, next up, we're going to go into the, my tax squad that got out of the Rhino. Is going to fire at their equivalent tax squad. Uh, do you want to do anything with this? Nope. I'm going to have to uh, take that, I think, for... Oh, actually, I could... I've got two reactions. You do? Uh, I'm going to return... Fire for that, I think, yeah, return fire. Okay, now because of death card legion rules, I do get, uh, basically I'm always counted as standing, so the front three guys are in rapid fire range, rapid fire range. so I'm gonna get three shots each, that's nine. nine yep. Everybody else, with the exception of the apothecary, is gonna get two, so two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, plus nine is gonna be 23. Oh, these death guard move and shoot. <laughs> yes, all right, so here's the first eight on threes. That's not a very good roll. That's four. Okay. Second eight of 23. That's much better. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's seven. So yep. seven plus four is at 11. 11, yep. And the remaining seven for 23. And that's, another... that's going to be four more. So that's going to be 15, 15 total. 15 total hits. How many wounds? Okay. So here's the first Ooh, eight. These are painful. Needing fours. Uh, not Ooh, too bad. Only two, three. Three. Okay. okay. And then the remaining seven of 15. Ooh, that's much four. better. So that's four plus three, so that's seven total saves, and you can tank four on your artificer. I shall start the tanking process. Okay. <laughs> First one, five. Yep. Second one, two. Yes. Close. Third one, five. Fourth one is a six. That is the four tank. How many did I have total? You got three seven. more, sir. Three more, and these have to be on the normal guys, right? That is correct. So three more on the normal guys. One guy is dead. All right. Any, any choice that you want over uh, here? The one furthest, the one closest to the, uh, the one closest to the charging potentially uh, tactical squad. Okay. Just to give a bit of extra range for yes. that. Yes. Uh, I don't think it'll make much difference if you do try, decide to charge. You got your return I fire now. Return fire. How many are in rapid fire? I see four, five. I'll give you six. So six. It's going to be 12 plus four, 16 shots, sir. 16 shots. I will do these uh, six at a time. Just okay. Because that's what you're in your hand? Yes, yeah, what's in my hand. All right. So the first one hitting on threes. Uh, that is not a good roll. That's only two here because okay. these are poor rolls. Yep, let me help you out there. Yep. So two so far. And then another six. Yep. And then... That is another two, three. three. Yep, so three. So you're at six so far. And then two more, I think it was, 14, right? Uh, uh, no, 16. 16, so four more. There you I'll go. Four. And that's another three, so that's nine total. Nine total, yep. I'll grab three more dice so we can just do this in one nice big roll. Okay. That way we don't have to... Four is the wound. On. Four is the wound. Let's see what we can get. Uh, One here, two. two. Two wounds. Oh, not very good. I'm actually going to take these on regular guys just because I don't want to risk my oh. sergeant. All right, so three ups. And oh, one, one guy's down. down. Yeah. So, fair trade. One for one. One for one, indeed. On that. I uh, can't right. complain too much. Next up, I'm going to go once again to my uh, immobilized Land Raider firing the one Sponson and the Heavy Bolter at your Cacophony. Fearless, so can't do anything. That's the downside of the Cacophony. And I didn't give them an Apothecary, but it wouldn't have done much anyway against some last cannons. Yeah, so here we go. Here's the Heavy Bolter. And that Ooh, all hits. that's all hitting for the heavy bolter. And three's the wound. 
And that is three wounds. Three wounds. And I do have a sergeant there still. The orchestrator will tank these himself. Okay. First one. He's and dead? Of course. <laughs> dead, dead, dead. And then two more. Yes, sir. On threes. And why couldn't I have done that with the orchestrator? So that is the orchestrator down. Okay. And the heavy bolter. And the last cannons. One. One hit. And roll into wound. Two. Nothing. Uh, and that is a one. That's Whoa. a one. Okay. Yep. Well, so I still the lost the orchestrator. Yep. The guy at the back. Okay. The bald-headed guy. It's because he didn't have a helmet on. Yes, he should have <laughs> wore his helmet. Um, that changes things a little bit. I think what I'm going to actually do is fire the Sakarans at them. I elected to actually think about shooting at the shield generator, but I think the bikes are going to be able to polish it off in the assault phase. So let's go ahead and put both of the, uh, once again, the Sakarans into the cacophony. There is, again, nothing I can do against this because of the fearlessness, and I can't damage with strength 6 against AV13. Okay. So we're just going to eat all of this. All right. So here's the 12 out of the turret. Again, not twin linked. Uh, they're not rolling very good, even with no night fight. I only hit half the time. Okay. Uh, wounding twos, on twos and sixes, sixes rend. Wow. Uh, it's going to be one, one rend and, and five, five normal wound. saves. Okay, so the rend is a five up save. And, and again, just for speed, we're electing just not yep. to put these into the wound pools. We're going as it's happening. And it's a six. Yep. And then there's five more three pluses, right? That's correct. I will move this six so we don't confuse it, even though I wish that's in the next dice. <laughs> and we'll fall here. And that is two dead, two ones. Okay. So take from the back. Yep. And all right, so now we have a heavy bolter. And now the heavy bolters on the two have eight shots, not twin links, so hitting on threes. Oh, they're not twin linked on these guys. Not the heavy bolters, nope. And not the turret. Mm. And so that's six hits, three yeah. to wound. Uh, ooh. ooh, hey, Yahtzee. Two. Two, two normal Whoa. saves, sir. Okay, that was uh, lucky. Let's see if it helps. No, it doesn't help, because that's a double one. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like my dice from the last time I played. The Cacophony are suffering for their fearlessness here. And Valid I me. think the Laz Cannons may be the ones that do it. So here's four shots of Laz Cannons. And that is three hits. Yep. And this is wounding on twos, giving you a cover save five up. That's an... Oh. Well, see, see my dice? The, the ones are coming back. All right, one one cover save. One cover save of five up. And finally, it's good. it hit the shield in front. No pinning checks or break checks for these guys because they are fearless and they don't take morale. That's correct. Just four, five casualties. I'll take that. All right, so now coming on to the recon squads. The first recon squad is going to go into the missile launchers once again. I really want to pin. They are still pinned. So, oh no, are they Not, unpin they're unpinned. End of your phase. But they're outside of range. Um, I will... Sh I will shroud. I kind of need them alive. They are one of the ones. So this is going to shroud for the first five. Okay. Hopefully this is the five that hit and not the five that missed like last time. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Now, no night fights. So are hitting on threes. And uh, there that we was go. probably a That's good decision five. to shroud. And then these are twos. Threes. Oh, no, three, threes with fours rending, though. Fives rending. Five rending. Okay. Yeah, I'll take fours rending if you no, want to no, give it no, to no, me. No, 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 no. There's enough rending in your army already. Oi. Oi. So here we okay. go. And so this three. is resolve one at a time. So three rends. Uh, start with the sergeant. Yeah, the sergeant. Oh, he's got a five up. Cover, and then a five up. Five up field. For the shroud. The five up shroud. Nope, no, so down. the sergeant is down. Okay. And then now you've got two normal guys with just five up covers and five up shrouds. Nothing nope. there. And, and five up shrouds. Again, two more guys That's die. Three so dead. Three dead total. This and then you've got just a three up followed by a five up if you fail it. Three up. And there's a three up we okay. needed. So, so three, three dead, dead, including, including the sergeant. Including the sergeant. So the sergeant is in the front here, and we'll take two from the rear. And a pinning check, sir. Definitely a pinning check on seven. Yes, no night fight. No night fight, just a seven. That is a seven. All right. We're fine. We will probably have to take a break check at the end of this phase as well. I think Let's so. see what else. What's the second unit going to shoot at? I'm going to shoot at the same missile launchers. I need to whittle them down. <sighs> They're going to just have to take it because there's no shroud now. All right. This is where it's got to miss. Yes. These are twos. No. Uh oh, yeah. That's uh, five hits again. It is, yep. This Sorry is about that. another painful one. All right, same thing. Threes. We're on threes, fives rend. And, and it looks like two rends. Two rends, okay. So and two normal saves. So two are dead. No, you still get your cover save. Oh, I get a cover save, yes. Yep. Okay, so two five up cover saves. And uh, one is saved. So one, one dead. One is saved, one dead. And then two normal three plus saves. And one more is dead. So that's two more dead in this. Yep. Uh, there's only two left here. They're going to be a very ineffective uh, missile launcher squad. And unfortunately, another pinning check. Oh, God, you got to take it twice. Oh, another seven. Can we start, try and stay unpinned? 
Yep. Yes, that's a three in. and a one. And now we have the, I'm guessing you're not going to shoot at them again, right? No, I'm not going to shoot at them again. So you can just do the break check. Will these guys flee? Let's hope not. That is a seven. That's a th four. And the three roll underneath the pipes. It's fine. They are fine. Yep. They are sticking. Okay. Though I don't know what two missile launchers are really going to be able to do against everything here. Well, we'll see. Um, we're going to go ahead and go now to the Scorpius, I think. So I need to borrow the big dog. Um, the Scorpius is going to go ahead and target, drawing line of sight, I'm going to go ahead and target the tax squad here. And if I can get a direct hit, it's going to be six. And we yeah. don't play multiple levels, so I don't have to worry about the cacophony on because I'm targeting this unit down here. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's roll the scatter. Let's see what happens. Go backwards a long way. Um, that's on target, essentially, because it's four. Yep. So it's going to be six guys. Okay, six guys on twos with four fours. Fours breaching. Landing. Breaching, yep, breaching. Yep. Yep. And that's going to be just one breach and five normal saves. Five normal saves. I will have to start tanking this on sergeants again. Okay. Uh, and this is pinning as well, right? It is pinning because I didn't move. Mm, okay. So the first one, so five normal saves, right? Uh, well, you can choose to tank on the sergeant. You got five normal and one breach. Yeah. So I'll take the sergeant's four first, one at a time. Okay. Come on, no ones. There's a five. There's a two. Yep. There's a five, yep. and the last one for the sergeant. Come on, lucky, lucky, lucky. There's a four. Okay. And then one more normal save then. Yes. And then the breach is dead. So yes. Normal save. That's a two, so that's the second guy then. Two dead from the Scorpius. Which one is, would you like me to pull? Uh, it doesn't have to be from under the template anymore. So it's it just f it's from just... the unit. So again, uh, the one behind the sergeant, and then I'll take the well, one next to him. Okay. All right, now you do owe me a pinning check, and that is going to be enough casualties to force a break check. So, pinning check first on eight. There's a one yeah. here. Not uh, pinned. Uh, and was a two. two here. Yeah, you're all good. So, we're good there, and then we'll take a break check. Come on, we need that low again. There's a five, a four, and a one. Five, they are good. That is the... Is there more shooting from you? There is. There's oh. a Land Raider. So oh. The Land Raider is going to go ahead and shoot. I'm going to shoot one Sponson at your Contemptor. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to shoot the Heavy Bolter and the Laz Cannons. I'm going to go ahead and shoot those at the Tax Squad. Well, I'm going to return fire with the Contemptor. Okay. Because you can return fire with the Grab as well. You can. Which could deviate into other places, give some difficult terrain, dangerous yes. terrain. So, yeah. Okay. And for those of you wondering why I'm not shooting at the remaining two missile launchers, I did declare earlier in the phase I wasn't going to shoot anything else at it. So in the spirit of fair play, I'm not shooting at the remaining missile launchers. So let's start with the last cannon sponsor and the one that can see the contemptors. I also don't think the missile launchers are any threat to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, double one. Womp womp. Okay. And now we're going to go into the tax guard first with the heavy bolter twinly. Oh, needed more those ones. twin links. Needed those twin links. Oh, <laughs> okay. Maybe you got to bin those dice. I don't know. I, I don't think know. those dice have to, to maybe go in the bin. Yeah. So three ups on the heavy bolter. Well, and there's, there's a one. six. So one normal save. One normal save. Uh, there is a sergeant. I will. No, I won't because I might need that fist at a later date. Okay. So that is a two. Uh, I wish I'd taken it on sergeant. That is one guy down. We will move a guy from over here. Okay. And then the very last thing I have to shoot. Well, actually, I take it back. I'll have a sneaky shot with the Rhino as well. Cool. But here we go for the uh, Heavy Bolter. Oh, no, I already did the Heavy yeah, Bolter. You sorry, this sorry, my fault, my fault. This, this is the last cannon sponsor. Last Excuse cannon sponsor. One last cannon sponsor. Okay, and that's going to be one hit. Yep. And killing on a two. Yeah, that's going to be one more. One more there. So that's one. Oh, five up save from the... Yeah, I'll give you five up on the Definitely pipe. intervening models as well. Yep. Uh, it still doesn't matter. That three is another guy dead. Yeah, the intervening models would be a six, but the pipe is a five. Yeah, the pipe is a five. Okay. And I have a return fire, though. You do? So I've got six shots with the carries. Yes. Hitting on twos, and I need six is the rend, basically, to try Correct. and get through. So there is the Ooh, let me spreading, help you out. spreading dice. Five hits. Five hits. There was a one deviated all the way out to the side. I'm looking for sixes. looking for sixes. Otherwise, nothing else works. There is no sixes in that roll at all. Okay. But we do have a grav yep. who is going to... We're going to be cheeky about this. We're going to try and keep it over here on the very edge to see if it does deviate to the side, it might catch the rhino. No there. problem. Oops. Uh, well, we'll take this off. We know where it's going to be. We know. Just roll it We're going to roll over here and have a look. Uh, that is two dice and a scatter. Yes. <laughs> Uh, that is deviating, ooh. That's deviating three. Uh, three inches backwards to the side. It actually might do what it needs to do, because three inches 
that way. I give it. I think it still does both, yeah. even if it was a bit further. We're eyeballing three inches here, but I think that's easily still hitting both of them. That's what she said. <laughs> and then uh, we'll do the Land Raider first. Go for it. So this is just the Haywire chart. That is. And that is a four. This it's is just another a, hole point. Uh, just a glance. Yep, so another hole point. Another hole point there. And then does it strip off the last does hole point? Does it kill the rhino? Anything but a one. And that's a three. Yep. That is the last hole point for the rhino. Indeed, and that I'll get out in just a moment. Wreck. That's a smoking wreck. And mm -hmm. then this one here goes down goes to down three, three yes. hole points left. And that's going to actually be it for shooting because nothing else I have can do anything. And I want to save the Grave Wardens to actually go into the shield generator where they're going to do more damage. Uh, I can't complain about that. Seriously whittled down the shooting of the Emperor's Children. I've put one generator on one hole point and possibly able to charge into the other one. Uh, or both of them. We'll see what happens in the assault in just a moment. So assault phase for the Death Guard, and we need to try and polish off. Now, I don't have any melt bombs. I thought I had bought one, but I don't. So we're going to still try and charge in with the chain swords to strip off that last hole point since the rear armor is considered AV-10. So here's the charge. Obviously, uh, we're the, in. There's not going to... Their jet bikes plus two to their charge distance. I think they're only about three inches away. Yeah, so they're so. all in now because I can't get by him due to the fact that I'm not charging him. That's what it looks like. Okay, and then we got on the other side, we're going to have the Grave Wardens and Chaplain with all those Power Fists and Chain Fists are going to charge into the other generators. So here we go. And that is going to be a six. So yes, they're yes. most definitely going to make it if you can just help me, sir, by moving those in. They're all in two. Okay. I think we made a tactical error here, Richard, with not moving the tactical squad forward to act as a roadblock. I think it's the first time we're playing this scenario. Yes. Honestly, didn't think about it. When I was playing my turn one, I thought I was far enough away, but mistakes were made. <laughs> no problem. All right, so let's go ahead and go with this one over here. Now, believe it or not, I do have Hammer of Wrath with jet bikes. Yeah. So two of them, strength four, any sixes are going to do a whole point. And then I get a five up in bowl. Yep. And no sixes. nothing. No sixes. Thank God. Okay, now we go into the chain swords. So each guy has one attack base. Yep. And then they charged. Yep. And then they are considered having bolt pistol and chain swords. So that's another three. Mm -hmm. okay. And then your normal and your sergeant as well. We might as well do the sergeant at the same time because uh, he's just got a power sword. Yeah, that's right. So that would be four, four out of the attacks. sergeant. It's pretty much all the same. Yeah. All right. So now this is a vehicle. So hitting on twos. Hitting on twos, yes. All right. Uh, oh, there's a couple ones there. There's a couple ones. Saving grace. And then we need sixes yeah. to strip off that last hole point. Can we do it? Can he fix it? I there's one. one, and you still have a five up invul. There's a five up invul. I've not been rolling my invuls very well, but I need the saving grace of this invul. Come on, Slanesh. All right. Help me out. No, there's a one. That is the end of that generator. It fizzles out of power. That's another victory point for Jason. He is now on two victory points there. To your one? To my one, yes, because okay. I did get first blood for killing that land, that rhino. You did, I did not. So now we're going to go over to what should be, in all intents and purposes, a, a dead generator. And that's yes. going to be the Grave Wardens. We'll go through the formalities here. Because there is a five in ball, but I honestly don't think it's going to matter. Because penetrating hits do D3. And this yes. thing only has three. So I would hit with the Grave Wardens first on... Twos again to hit. Yeah, so these hits. are just normal guys. Uh, actually, I need to pull this out because there is a chain fist. Okay. So these are three chain fists. So these are hitting on twos, but I get to reroll thanks to the chaplain. No need. Mm -hmm. uh, these are armor bay and strength eight because they're chain fists. Yeah, so. First one. That's a, nothing. That's a glance. Oh, 10, yes, eight. Yes, a glance, okay. one glance. All right, second one. It's a pen. Pen. Third one. Pen. pen. Fourth one. Pen, uh, pen, pen, fifth one, pen, pen sixth one, pen, pen, seventh, pen, pen, and the eighth. So just with chain fists, that's seven pens, one glance. Well, let's just take these because there's a... Let's take the glance first to see if it matters. Okay. So glance one, five up, that's one whole point. Okay. And then you said seven pens, right? Yeah. So... The pens are D3, really, but there might be just enough in singles here. Yes. Five up field, no, five up in balls. Yeah. That is another fizzled out the uh, fizzled out generator there. So the generator fizzles out and is gone. And another victory point for the Death Guard. So we are 3-1 in victory points. This is worth two for me. I need to keep it alive as a desperate measure here. Yes. 
And I think that's all of your assault, right? Uh, I did actually have the destroyers. I had planned for the destroyers to go in. Okay. Um, we didn't roll that because we got so caught up in the shield generator. So let me just go ahead and roll the charge for the destroyers. Did well, you want to react to this? I might as well overwatch this because I yep. can put a grav down, which causes them to have difficult terrain and they take some checks. Yep. So I'll overwatch this after you roll your charge distance, but I don't think it's going to make any difference. You can't really fail. Oh, right. four inches. No, no. plus two for so the jump packs. Six. So let's do the six carry shots hitting on twos. Okay. That's all uh, that's six. That's all six. And then wounding on twos with sixes rending. Yes, sir. Uh, there is one rend, four normal saves there. Okay. Uh, so for the four saves, I'm going to try on the sergeant. There's one. Yep. Two. He's oh, dead. The sergeant normal is dead. Die. And the normal guy is right. fine. So one to the rend, then the sergeant down. Okay. So and then. Sergeant is here. Again, we're going to be cheeky. We're going to put grabs at the back here. Okay. Because we. Don't want it close to our own as well. No problem. <laughs> so we'll roll for the this distance. That's on target. Okay. So that's just on these. I didn't. I wasn't cheeky enough to try and put it uh, on the back there. That's three guys. So three tough, toughness checks. Toughness checks. Yep. So I need fives, right? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's two. Okay. So two just normal saves. Two normal saves. And one more dies. One more dies. Uh, pull one from underneath the template. Yeah. yeah just pull. one of the guys with pistols. Yeah. All right. So because of the positioning, uh, I'm still going to be able to make it in even with the dangerous terrain. Correct. You have two dangerous terrain checks because only two, three guys were there. Okay. One guy died. Let me go ahead and take it, those checks. It's not the entire unit that suffers from it, so it's nope. just... And one more dies. One more dies. Okay, so we'll just take uh, any... Or give me a missile launcher. Missile launcher? Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm going to need the extra attack, so... All right. And then we crunch in here. Oh, magnetization. Backpacks, yeah. Just leave it there for now. We'll get it later. <laughs> Okay. okay. So I do have some Hammer of Wraths. How many? Uh, you have four guys. Four guys are in base contact. Okay. So I do have Rad Grenades, but it doesn't matter. It just takes your seven down to six. It's not going to make a difference. Not going to make a difference. Uh, ooh, we got one wound from Hammer of Wrath. Oh, one wound from Hammer of Wrath. And then that's a two plus save. That is a save. Okay. Okay. And then now, well, I'll let you go first because it doesn't really matter. Our initiatives are the same okay. uh, for this. All right. And you're using just chainsaw, or are you going to go with your melter bombs? I'm going to go with melter bombs. So then I go first. So you go first. So I'm hitting on threes. I get three attacks. Yep. Three attacks here. So I can't kill everybody, but I can try and kill most. So hitting on threes, come on, we need some dice gods here. That is only two, and then I think it's probably two dead, but twos to wound. Okay. Oh, oh that's only one wound. And okay. I think there's one guy dead because yep. it's... Uh, D3 wounds and you don't get a save. I'll take the missile watcher. So then you have three melter bombs coming back at me. I do. Now the melter bombs, if I'm not mistaken, they auto hit. Yep. And they uh, need threes. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. That's going to be two. Two five up. Two involves. five ups. That's two five ups. Oh my gosh. Yeah, six. good roll, good roll. And so you actually lose that combat by one. I do lose, but if I'm not mistaken, the destroyers are stubborn. But let me just verify that real quick. The Contemptor managed to survive Melter Bombs. And, well, honestly, we shot quite a bit over in the Overwatch there. I was uh, pretty happy. With this is the... exactly what I thought was going to happen, but it is what it is. But he is stuck there, which is kind of annoying because I did need him to yes. move forward into those Grave Wardens. Well, you never know. I may break. I am stubborn, as I thought. Um, and this is a seven because the sergeant is gone. Oh, Come yes. on, stick, boys, stick. Yes, yes we stuck a on a six, so that's exactly what we needed. All right. Okay. So, um, summarizing, we'll turn two. Again, I can't complain. We've managed to kill both of the smaller shield generators, bringing our lead to 3-1. But the Emperor's children have the potential to bring in their deep strikers in turn two, so we'll see what happens then. Again, another painful start to turn two for the Emperor's children. We lost quite a lot. It's really going to depend if we can get this deep strike in, because we need it in this turn, otherwise we're really whittling away. I've left the majority of my things off in deep strike. It's a three plus to deep strike here. We're gonna have a look and pray to Slanesh that it comes in. That's a six. They are coming in. But is it disordered? The question is it disordered? So another dice. That is disordered. Oh, oh no. my god. So Jason gets to place me anywhere on the field within 24 inches of my original mark. My original mark was gonna be over here. We will place down the units off camera just because they take a lot of time. 
and we'll be back shortly. So, it's a bit complicated with the deep strike, but Jason ended up moving us 24 inches all the way to this poor guy over here. Yep. Since that was the case, and we needed to spread out as much as possible, we were always going to bring in our biggest unit, which was our Palantine Blades Quiller, a 10-man squad. And they have done the cheeky and honestly pretty silly conga lining. These are, I guarantee you, within coherency of each other. We have made sure to check. <laughs> but there is a very long 11-man, well, 10-man conga line here with uh, the 11th chaplain on this side to give an extra range. Yep. So that is the first squad that came down. Then we deep striked our Storm Eagle. This is the first time we're trying this with the Empress Children or just in general with a Storm Eagle. Yep. It's coming in and hover. So it is not zooming because I want to unload the Phoenix Terminators and Delegatus in that there. The third unit that came down was the bikes because they all have melters and really our biggest fear for our remaining Two points for us, but three points for the Death Guard is the this. The Sakarans. Yeah, the Sakarans there with their LAS cannons and auto cannons shooting it down. So we need to try and take them out with melters. On the other side, we brought down our javelins because, again, this Land Raider is the fear. And then to try and help deal with this death ball of Terminators here, we've brought down our Destroyer Squad. They do have a Phosphex bomb. Yep. And that's hopefully going to do some damage. It won't slow them down, but there's a lot of attacks in these boys. Yes. So uh, we can maybe take them out by weight of numbers. There is no attrition, so we can sacrifice bodies, which is what we forgot to do during the first turn. The Empress Children now are coming down for vengeance. We've got some reactions from we Jason do. here. Yes, yeah, so I do have two units that can get a free reaction, which is the two um, recon squads. And then, of course, I have my one normal reaction for the movement phase. I'm going to go ahead and react with the jet bikes over here, believe it or not. And I'm going to react to the opponent's jet bikes of the EC because those multi meltas on his bikes and on my bikes, I want to kill these guys. I don't want them destroying my jab or excuse me, my Sakarans. Yeah. So let's start with my jet bikes. I've got three multi meltas. It's the risk we took. Yes. Uh, these are hitting on threes, twin linked. And twin linked. It's going to be all three hits. Yeah. And these are twos to kill, basically. Twos to basically kill. That's going to be three jet bikes dead. And there's no saves. Oh, well, two. There's some cover save because there's only two in front. So Remember, one will get a cover. jet bikes can't take cover. Oh, they can't because they're anti-grav. That's okay. right. So yep. we've got a heavy bolter. The sergeant is left with yes. the artificer armor. Okay, so here goes the heavy bolter. And that's going to be oh, two hits. Two hits. Twin. Uh, no, they're not twin linked. Nope, this one's not twin linked. And three's to wound. Uh, two saves on your sergeant, sir. Two, two ups. He does have two wounds. So unless I roll double one, that's a one, though. There okay. is one wound on him. He has taken a wound. That is a, a dead unit, but we still have one multi melter left you do. in range. Uh, actually, so you were, is that your sergeant right there? Yeah. Okay, no problem. So I'll just pull your jet bikes off from the carnage that just happened. And now I go into my quote unquote free inter intercept reactions out of the recons. Uh, I'm going to start with this recon squad here. I really want to kill that last jet bike and save my Sakarans potentially. So I'm going to shoot all five of these guys into that last jet bike. Okay. All right, so hitting on threes. And that's going to be three hits. hits. Yep. You need these fours to rend this because it's the Fives rend. So fives I need rend, threes, so. normal, fives rend. So I just need one rend. Come on, baby. And Nothing. No, one so wound. So one wound. I yeah. got a two plus save. You do Come have on, a two plus save. Save this, save this, save this. That is a six. Okay. Em well, Emperor. Horus protects. Horus protects. <laughs> All right. Well, for my last free reaction, the other recon squad is going to go ahead and shoot at your Palantine blades. Oh, you're not going to try and finish that off? No, nah, I'm going to do this one. I think I might be able to get an angle on that uh, chaplain there. Yeah. All right. So hitting on threes with these. And that's, that's much better. Four for hits. It. Four hits. So again, threes to wound, fives rending. Come on. Give me some rends here. There we go. There's, there's one rend and one wound. And I'm going to put both of those on the chaplain. So through. there's a five up from the involve for the rend, right? Yes. Uh, that is a six. Okay. There. And then the two up for the normal. Yep. That is a four. He managed to tank both those shots. Yes. Thank you very much, champion. He has a phoenix rapier, but I think we're still in trouble. We're going to finish the movement phase for the Empress Children and be back. There wasn't much movement left for the Empress Children. We just edged up our uh, Contemptor to get some better line of sight on the guys, uh, these two Sycorans, which really are our biggest fear there. 
We made a very, another tactical error by myself for the Empress Children because the new errata for the Deep Strike rules, I can't Deep Strike Assault and then charge out of a Assault Vehicle in the turn I come in. So I have kind of placed my guy in a very dangerous position. But I needed him there because I need to unload that weaponry into the side of those Sycharins. So we'll probably eat a charge on the vehicle in the next turn. But if we destroy it and don't die from the resulting explosion, we'll still be okay. We'll be moving on to a very short shooting phase for the Empress Children, and it's going to be an exciting assault phase in turn two for us. We're going to start the shooting phase with the two missile launchers. They're just looking to shoot into the land radar here. We want to plink off some, just an odd shot. There's only two guys left, hitting on threes. Uh, that's a double one, so completely ineffective there for these guys. Okay. We're going to move on to a Phosphex, because there is a Phosphex on the Sergeant. Six inches is just in range for the top of this guy's head. Out of the destroyers here. Out of the destroyers. We, we need to whittle these guys down, maybe do some damage. We're hoping for it on target, because this could damage us. That is uh, two, four inches away, but that's on target. Yep. So that will be four guys hit by the Phosphex. Okay. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Phosphex is, uh, is, is Fleshbane 3 plus. Fleshbane 2 up. No, uh, I think these ones are slightly different. Let me just double check what they've got. Okay. It is... Correct, you're right. Yep. So uh, three on two ups, and these are AP2s as well. Yes. <laughs> it's coming down to it. There's two ones and a three. So just one save from you, Jason. All right. So here's the save. I owe you. Uh, uh, four, four up in bone. And, and it's a five. But we do leave that there for dangerous terrain. Not that it'll make much difference for the Death Guard because they'll just walk right through it. Yep. We love a little phosphorus in the morning. We're going to go Fury of the Legion into these guys as well here. There's two, four, six, eight guys left. Okay. So And they're all in rapid fire range. So that will be... Uh, three times that, so six, uh, 24, right? Okay. Two, four, six, eight. Are you going to react? Uh, I am. I'm actually, with that squad, I'm going to go ahead and return fire because that okay. can be pretty nasty against you. Okay. So we'll just do mine first and see how many we can whittle down with weight of fire. Okay. Hitting on threes. Missed with those, so that's three hits first. That is not good. Okay. Second set. Again, with four, so that's seven total. Yep. Third set. Uh, that's slightly better. That is another two, four, six. So that's 13 hits. Okay. Uh, that's eight. Then add four, uh, five more. Yep. Okay. That's 13 here. And these are needing fours. Oh, my dice rolls. Look at this. Uh, there's a lot of ones, a lot of twos. Two, four, six saves here. Okay, I owe you six saves. And these are all two ups. So we'll roll that right here. And they're all good. They're all good. Yep. Okay. So you're returning fire, and these are assault, right? They are. So, and I also have, don't forget the cloud projectors on these guys. So oh, this it's is the a, template, right? It is. This is a lot of complexity. So why don't we resolve this part off the camera as far as generating the hits and wounds, and then we'll be back in just a minute. So off camera, we resolved that pretty nasty return fire out of the Grave Wardens. And when the smoke had cleared, the combination of the templates as well as the assault grenade launchers, I put 18 wounds into the Emperor's Children attack squad. Yep, and we're going to tank four on the sergeant, see what he can do, and then we'll see what the rest of the squad is able to survive. Here's one, <laughs> and of course the sergeant dies Jeez. on the first one. The Emperor's Children are not doing very well in this mission here. And you've got we have, 17 more. And this is a nice big ball of dice. These are on three pluses. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six dead. So, one here, two, four, six. There is a lone guy left from that return fire. Ouch. Uh, we are sacrificing bodies, just sacrificing too many bodies, I think, I seem. Speed bumps, speed bumps. Uh, but there is no break because that is a reaction, so we don't break on this. Yes. We are now going to move on to the melters because we do need to take this out. Um, I still think the land raider is slightly more dangerous to us at this point in time. Okay. So we're going to shoot the land raider down. We're going to start with the two multi-melters. They're one-shot twin-linked for two. They're both in melter range, okay. hitting on threes. So that's two hits. Yep. Uh, that means now two dice for armor bane. Yep. Uh, side armor is 14 still. Yep, so, so sixes. Uh, we're looking for sixes with armor bane. That is a double one nothing. doing nothing. And the second one? And the second one is a five doing a glance. Nope. Uh, yes, you're right. Sorry. 
Yes. So. Two misses on the armor bane. Wow. And then now four last cannon shots with no rerolls. So just hitting on threes. That is all hit. Nines looking for five. With Sunder. With Sunder. Uh, there is three. Fu uh, that's there. Two, two bites and a pen. pen. That's a lot. That's enough to blow it up yep. because three left. We'll just do the Sunder to see if it explodes. Another five. So that's just see if the pen does anything. Yep. We're Go looking ahead. for a six to Go try ahead. and blow this up. Nope. Just a wreck. That is just a wreck. We have done what we needed to do by killing this here. We'll put some smoke down just so we emphasize that it is dead. So we have done something useful. <laughs> you did? No, that was pretty good. Yeah, I elected actually whether or not I wanted to shroud that, but I think I need to protect my Sakarans a bit more. Yeah. So now we're going to start with the Contemptor. Okay. And the Contemptor is... Oh, actually, no. We're going to start with the Cacophony. Okay. They're going to shoot into your cavalry here, into your jet bikes. You may go ahead. So we're going to... We need to will them. We can't pin them, but we can maybe kill some of them. Okay. First guy, there's only two. First guy... Three hits. Yep. Second guy. Oh, one hit and it gets hot. Does he kill it himself? Gets hot is does he does kill himself? So okay. one guy is going to go down. And that's four and hits. These are looking for twos. Yes, sir. And that's four hits there. You can tank these all four on the sergeant if you wish. And I shall try that. So we're going to go for the first one. It's good. Second is dead. Oh. And yes. then two more normal. Two more dead? Uh, well, two more wounds, because they're oh, two, two wound models. Wounds. Yes, you're right. But and one was already dead. So that's three deflagrates as yes. well. So let's just do those. So you've put three wounds together so far. And then here, that's another two more wounds to save. Okay. All right. So that's three total so far wounds. Two more. Not three. Yeah. Two more? Yep. All right. And then and they're fine. They're fine. Okay, so. so I took a total of three wounds there. So including the sergeant who... Yep. yep. So that's the one wound for the wounded guy. And the sergeant's dead. And then the sergeant is gone, so that leaves me with two. Mm -hmm. Now, is anything else going to shoot at him? Uh, we're going to Fury of the Legion with the remaining uh, tactical squad here. Okay. Because we just need to. And we've only got two, four, six, seven left. Okay. We'll do this three times. Okay. Uh, four, seven. All right. Hitting here on threes. Yep. Again, missing those three here. So that's four. Okay. Missing with one, and that's two. Oh, two. Yep. So that's nine total. Yes, sir. And in the next set, there is another four. That's 13. 13 total. Four, eight, 12, 13 here. Hitting on fours. That is missing with three. That's no, with four, nine. Yeah, wounding on fours. Uh, wounding this on fours. Oh, wounding on fours. Wounding yes. on fours. Sorry. Yes. That is two, four, six. 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 Oh, okay. So, yeah, three plus saves. All right, I owe you six saves. So, here we go. Three ups. And we pass them all. Wow, they are surviving. They are, much uh, not to my expectations when it comes to jet bikes and the new rules. Uh, then we're going to actually leave those because we're going to try something later in the assault phase. We're still going to go after the Sikarans. We're going to start with the carries into your Sikarans here. Okay. Are you going to do anything here? I am not. I think there's something two, bigger that I need to six. actually shroud against. <laughs> so there's six shots here. Okay. Looking for twos. Uh, all hit. And I need a roll like that again. That's so I need sixes. fives, right? Because I be 13. Front armor 13s. You need fives. And or no, no, you need sixes to rend because there's only a strength six weapon. Oh, yes. So you need sixes, basically. I need sixes. Oh, there's two sixes. Okay, now you need to roll D3 for each of these. So I need to roll fours. Right? Threes are better. Threes are better, yes. That's two. Two pens. Two pens. Okay, you want to roll the results of that? And uh, since it's just AP2, it's AP2, right? Yep. Uh, so just two of them. Five go to six, so one is immobilized. No, they're not AP2, so oh. the Ren doesn't turn it into an AP2 against okay. vehicles. Okay, so it's just two. Yes. Two glance, and you do get a I do five, have some up, cover five saves. up cover saves here. All right, so here's the cover saves. Let's see what happens. One, uh, one. one save. Okay. So one one glance. Okay. Well, one pen. Sorry, one pen. One pen, and Good. it was a five and a four. We'll yeah. say it was the five, so yeah. that's going to be a uh, weapon destroyed. Yeah, and uh, it has to be the main armament as well. Uh, yes, well, it has to be any, it, any, battle, weapon. any battle weapon. Yeah. So I'm going to lose one last cannon spawns in right here. Yeah. Okay. And then we have a grav. You do have a grav. I think we measured off camera, and the grav was just at the edge. We there. did. We measured off camera, and it's going to look something like that. And we're going to roll here to see where it goes. That's on target. Okay, that's going to be so two hits. Two hits, both of them? Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. you're going to be able to clip both. And then we'll just roll the two here. Okay. 
So uh, one is a nothing. So just two glances. One, no, one glance. One, one glance, glance, excuse me. One glance. Okay. So another hole point off there. So one is down to his last two hole points, but he has not been a penetrating hit yet. So that's pretty good. Or excuse me, he uh, is not shaken or stunned. So that's pretty good. So we've got the last guy in our melter squad of Sky Hunters. He's going to shoot his single shot at the same target. Are you going to... Uh... I'm not going to react because you're not in melter range. Uh, tw 24, uh, 12 inch melter range, right? Correct. So I wasn't in melter range? I thought they all were when I deep struck them. They uh, were, but remember, don't forget you lost. Oh, yes. Your sergeant was the very guy in the back. Ah, okay, well, yep. we'll just shoot. Okay. Nothing, a one. But it's twin link. Oh, twin link, thank God. Yes. Thank you. Still a two. Nothing. <laughs> Jeez. This the poor shoot, guy here. He got destroyed coming in, and now he managed to do nothing in his shooting phase. He needs to go back to the range. We've got the last set of shooting, which is going to be our uh, big dog? Storm Eagle, the Storm Eagle yes. coming in here. The yes. Storm Eagle has a lot of fire. We're going to start with his Melter in the front. So yeah. the Melter in the front there is just one shot. Twin linked. Twin linked. Now on this, I am going to Shroud because due to my Warlord trade, I have two shooting phase reactions and I was saving this one. So okay. for the Sakarans to Shroud. So there we go. That's a hit. You are in melter range. And in melter range, so two d dice. Yes. Got that a is a pen. Okay, so, so one pen so far. So one pen so far. We'll keep a pen on the side. And it's AP1 pen. Yep. We have two twin-linked last cannons. Okay. And this is a hitting on threes. Okay. Twin-linked, of course. They're both hitting. And now they're sundering. Yes. So, so hitting for nine, strength nine, looking yeah. for threes 13. with sunder. Uh, nine, this armor 13 or 12 on the side? It's 12 or 13, but let's okay, just roll and see what see, happens. Let's see, let's see. So uh, it's a six and a three. Um, I might actually roll that three again because I can. You can. Just because I want to go for a pen. You can. That's another pen. Okay, That's so those are two AP2 pens. So yep. what I'm marking here is the AP1 and then now the AP2. Yep. And then we have a Vengeance Launcher, which is a heavy two large blast. Okay. So I get some large blast fun and it's going to go on your Terminators. I understand, or I understand that they have to, they get to re-roll their saves anyway. But we'll still do it for some fun here. Yes, and I'm actually going to elect also to issue my advanced reaction. And why would I do that? Because I get a free 7-inch move at the end of this, and hopefully that takes me out of range of the Palantine Blades. Is it after? or? It's after the shooting is resolved. Okay, so we're going to roll the scatter, and it is moving quite far, so it goes backwards. Is it twin linked? Uh, it is not, Okay. but it's two large blasts. So the first one... It's going to go backwards. It's going to go uh, way back. Yeah, way back. And it can't affect anything. Yeah, exactly. Okay, next one. The last one. Next one. Same thing. All the way back. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Two ineffective shots. But you do have three shrouds, but one for the AP2. Yes. And one, f two for the AP2, one yep. for the AP1. Yes. On this. So, so let's do the AP2s. Okay. All right. So these are five up shrouds on the Sakarans. And then also I will have to resolve my advanced reaction move with these guys in just a minute. But first, the shrouds on the AP2 for the Sakarans. Uh, we get one, so that's only one whole point so far, but okay. a pen. But a pen. And then here's for the AP1 multi melta. And, and no, so that's another. So that's two whole points. So you need to do these one at a time because yeah. Sakarans have four whole points. I'm going to do the AP2 pen first. Probably do the AP1. It's a higher chance of blowing up. Uh, yeah, true. I was trying to blow up the second one, but yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, it goes on the damaged one first. So yeah, the reason okay. why I'm suggesting that is, is if you blow him up first, that means the other pen carries over to the other member of the okay. squadron. Yep, you're right. Okay. Uh, we'll do this. So this is the AP1. Looking for five, basically. Correct. Five to blow up. Correct. Six. And a six. He does blow up. Boom. And, and that's not, not going to be enough to hurt anybody, but it will get the other member of the squadron. And so now we're looking for another six to potentially blow with this the AP2, up. With yes. the AP2, yes. With AP2. To blow the second Sakarna up. No. And that goes to four. Which so I think is stunned. stunned. So which... he's got three whole points left. Yeah. Three whole points left on that one. This one blew up with the first attack. That's the reason why I was telling you to do that. And then we need to check. Uh, you're okay. not going to be able to hit yeah. them, but you do have a chance to put another whole point here. We do? Okay. We'll it's roll. a strength A explosion, remember? We'll roll the distance. Three inches, definitely in range. And then roll to see if it's strong enough so, so it hurt him again. Six, right? Oh, less no, than that. Oh, no. A one. A one. A one is a nothing. We're rolling a lot of ones today for our shooting and damage, a but we did kill a Sikorin. You did, yes. So, and then you put one whole point on the next one. Yeah. Okay. So, not too bad. We're going to resolve his movement and then move to our assault phase next. So, this is the result of the Death Guard activating their advanced reaction, which once again gives me a four up invul, or excuse me, feel no pain, then a free seven inch move. 
The field no pain didn't come into effect, but the seven inch move basically took me further away from the Palantina Kila squad, putting it at pretty much can't charge because I put myself at like 12.1 inches so that you can't even declare a charge. Yeah. But you're going to do something else with these guys because they didn't shoot. Nope, they didn't shoot on purpose. So we're going to charge the jet bikes because they are really one of the few things that can threaten our last objective here. We have enough roadblocks on the other side for these terminators. Okay. So we're going to charge and it's a six inch charge, but plus two for the jump packs. I'm going to go ahead and overwatch this because I can. There's no reason not to. That is a six inch charge. Exactly, plus yep. two, so eight inches. Okay. We'll move these boys in after the overwatch. Okay, so here's the first overwatch. This is going to be the multi melt yep. twin linked. Mid twin linked. Twin -linked. That hits. hits and does it wound. Just kills one. Yep. And then here's the heavy bolter. Well, actually, it's two multi melters because the sergeant died. So here's the yes. second multi melter, which hits, hits. and also kills, kills one. one. So, so that's two, two dead. dead. Yes. We'll move these guys in and we'll be back next. Okay, we charged in with the Emperor's Children there, and the Palantin Blades, we decided to move the eight inches and then already do their pile-in because they are going at a higher initiative. Yes. That only put four guys actually in coherency to have combat, the but the danger, rest are still in coherency. Yes, the danger of the conga line is, unfortunately, that it resolves that sometimes you cannot get everybody in combat. But we've got the spears going first, yes. and they are uh, hitting on threes. Six attacks on the Six charge. Six attacks on the charge here. Rerolling as well because of hatred. Because of hatred, I um, needed those rerolls. That's four wounds. Okay. And their strength six, so these are two plus to wound. Yes. And uh, these are AP three, so these will kill. So if all of these, they're dead. Yes. Okay. That is four wounds. That is the four wounds off that unit. So the jet bikes so are the jet gone. Bikes are gone, and we will consolidate them afterwards in between the two phases. The last one here is on this side. It's the Contemptor. Contemptor. And so we'll just do the three attacks for the Contemptor. Okay. Here, hitting on three, uh, hitting on threes again. Yes. So here, only one again. The Contemptor has been whiffing this yes, entire he time. Has. Two to kill. That is a dead guy. And there's two more Melter Bombs coming back at him. There is. Now, Contemptors are I5 or I4? They're I4. Okay, so then um, just the two Melter Bombs. The Melter Bombs are at last anyway. So yes, yeah. yes. So let's see what happens with the Melter Bombs. Two? Oh, no. Um, Threes. The Melter Bombs automatically hit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Strike eight. Okay, that's going to be two, two five up more five ups. Hits. Yes. One wound, drawn combat. Drawn combat. That is the end of the assault phase for the Empress Children. We didn't charge anything else in because we just need to protect our middle objective now. Yes. We'll be back with turn three for the de the Death Guard next. The Dead Guard. <laughs> so turn three for the Death Guard, and we've done once again the movement off camera just because of the amount of movement that has to take place. So we started with the Sakaran. So the Sakaran wants to put himself in a position to shoot stuff, whether it's the objective or these units over here. He did take a difficult, uh, or excuse me, a dangerous train check for coming over this direction. He did not immobilize himself, thankfully. Damn. <laughs> the attack squad here went ahead and moved up because remember, we always account as stationary, which allows for some juicy, juicy Fury of the Legions. Discretion is the better part of Valor. So you'll notice there's no longer a command squad here. And the reason why is we got them back into the Land Raider. Now, the reason why is because there was no good places for them to go. They're going to get shot at either by all this insta-killing stuff on the Storm Eagle, or they could get shot by the Javelins, or they could get, Scott, get shot by multi -Melta. So really, there was no real smart place for them to be at. Hence, they got back into the Immobilized Land Raider. Nothing else on this flank moved because it's either dead or intending to stand still. On this side, we first moved with the Tax Squad. And remember, Death Guard ignore the modifiers for terrain. So we moved over and splitting the fence to put us in a position here. The last thing that we moved was the Grave Wardens with the Chaplain. And you elected to react to that. I did. I decided to move the Javelins backwards. So they moved four inches away. I wanted to get some distance from them there. Uh, try and keep them alive. We have some instant, de instant death stuff there that could potentially do some damage. Yes. So that summarizes all the movement for the Death Guard. Um, there won't be obviously as much shooting in this next turn, but we'll be back in just a moment with that. Shooting for the Death Guard, I'm gonna start with this recon squad here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to attempt to shoot that last wounded sergeant of the jet bike squad, because I don't want that multi melter getting uh, any chances. I think I'm gonna to have to let that go. Okay. So here's the five shots uh, hitting on threes. 
And yeah, that's going to be four. Yeah. Uh, wounding on threes, but any fives are going to strip that last wound. And there it is, the six. So yep. he is now gone. He is gone there. Okay. He did nothing. Uh, expensive squad that uh, came in, got shot, failed to shoot in return, and then died in the second round of shooting. Yes. And so now for the next thing that I'm going to shoot, I'm actually going to shoot at the second recon squad is going to go ahead and shoot at your... I think I'm going to shoot at your javelins, believe it or not. You're going to shoot my javelins? Yes. Uh, I'm going to... Ooh, that's a good point. I'm actually going to let that go through. You have five shots. Their toughness is quite high as well. Yes, I'm basically so... fishing for rims. Yeah, you're fishing for rims. Okay, so here's the five shots. Uh, and that's Ooh, not a good start. That's two hits. Two hits. Okay, that's now the strength needed. five, toughness six. I need fives, uh, but those fives are going to rend because yeah. they're snipers. Uh, nothing. nothing. So, good. I'm glad I did not use my return fire reaction there. Yes, absolutely. Uh, next up is going to be the Scorpius. And the Scorpius, what it's going to do is it's going to put down a juicy template over here. We have spread out for you a have, very good reason. Uh, if I go here, I can get four of the Palantine Blades I plus the Contemptor. I will definitely shroud this. Okay. This is what I needed to save that shroud for. Okay. So, here it is. Let's see what happens. Um, that's On target. A, on target, yeah. Okay, so four Palantine Blades and one Contemptor. So mm -hmm. since we didn't move again, this is breaching on a four up. So here's the Palantine Blades. Twos to wound, fours breach. And that's gonna be three breaches and one wound. Okay, but these aren't instant death. Type. They are, they're strength eight. Oh, they're strength eight, they're instant death, wow. Okay. Yes. So the, well, let's do the wound first. So the wound is a two plus. Yep. And Good. a six is there. And now three breaches, right? Yep. So these are five up shrouds. Correct. I need these sixes and fives. Uh, one save, two dead. Okay. So I'll take two of these swords out from near the front of the, the two swords at the front there. Okay. So these two swords go down. Yep. And you do owe me actually a pinning check because uh, I did I've got, not move. I've got a chaplain which gives me stubborn. Stubborn doesn't yeah. give you fearless anymore. No, it does not. So uh, st stubborn ten, right? It's either stubborn ten or stubborn nine. But just yeah. go ahead and roll it. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, that's a nine. It's going to be fine. fine. Okay. And then here's the one because it does clip the contemptor. Yes. So a three to warn wound normally, but again breaching on a four up, and that's going to be a breach. And so one and five up, and it's saved. The five up is saved. Okay. So that was that. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and go with the tacticals here. And what the tacticals are going to do is they're going to go ahead and fury of the legion basically into the same Palantine blades. Well, they can't react anymore now. Okay. So I've got 10 guys there. And these are going to be um, three attacks each, essentially, because yeah, I'm in rapid fire range. Plus that one pit bolt pistol, right? On yes. The apothecary. Yes. So here is the first 15 of 30. One. Okay. Excuse me, I grabbed the wrong guy. There we go. So the first 15 of 31. Ooh, oh, wow. I don't think any missed though, two. That's only four misses. So that's 11, 11 hits so far. 11 hits. The second 15, and then I'll reroll one because I have 31 total shots. Second 15, so that's 11 plus 11. So that's 22 so far. And, then that's... and the apothecary, 23. Yeah, 23. Okay. 23, that's a lot of hits. All right, now to wound. So here's the first 15 of 23, wounding you on fours. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Already ten. That's not good for me. And then here's the remaining eight. So ten so far plus eleven, twelve, thirteen saves. You owe me thirteen sir. saves. Uh, I'll do these uh, six and a seven just because I have these in my hand. Okay. On twos, they're two wounds each. Yep. Uh, there's one wound, so take that one wound out, pass me those dice again, and oh. then we just need to take another six, six saves. Yeah. And, and nothing, good. just so one wound. Just one wound. Oh, that's I pretty good. mark that down. Uh, I got a dice here, who do you want me to put on? A sword, uh, I assume? A sword guy, yes, please. Okay, we'll stick him right there. So, we survived that, surprisingly. You did. So, so what else is there to shoot? I'm going to go ahead and shoot the Sakaran at the remaining uh, objective marker, because yes. I really need to try and put this out of reach. Okay, it does have a three plus uh, save from shooting. Yep. From shooting. Okay, so here's the accelerator auto cannon on the hull. So, I mean, excuse me, on the turret. So this is Hitting six on shots threes. on threes, and that's a good start. That's five. Yep. Now this is strike seven. We said armor fourteen. Fourteen. So it needs a, it needs the rending. It needs the rends, but any rends are essentially going to auto penetrate. Uh, yes. Yep. Okay. So here we go. And oh, ooh, there's three. Three. That is going to be painful for me there. Yes. So I need to. 
do three three up saves to try and save this. Well, hold on, let me roll the d3s because I, I oh, it's, it's it's set strength seven uh, 13 right now. 13. Seven oh. plus six is 13, so I do need to roll the d3 for the pens. Oh, because one would be oh, yeah, one would be a glance, yes, correct. yeah, for the runs, excuse me. Okay, so that's going to be actually two glances and a pen. Okay, so I'll roll the pen first. Okay. It is saved. Okay. And the two glances. Yep. They are saved they are as well. Saved. We did all this on purpose. We tried to make it so it wouldn't die easily to shooting. Yes. It's so far surviving, but we still have last cannons. We do. We have two last cannons on threes. And so that's two. two hits. And these are pens on fives. Glances on Glance fives. Five. But we do have sunder. Sunder, yes. So nothing, oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Come on, sixes. One, One glance, glance. Another three up. Three up as well. Yep. That is a save. That's a save. Whew. The void shield on this satellite dish is uh, the comms array is surviving and doing its job. There is that void generator generating power for everybody. Yes. So the next thing I'm going to shoot is going to actually be the tactical squad. Now the tactical squad is going to pump everything into your destroyers. Would you like to react? So the destroyers are going to shroud their... Oh, uh, destroyers fearless? No, they're not. Uh, they're not fearless, they're, they're stubborn. They're stubborn, so they can react to the shroud here. Okay. So this is another 10-man squad, right? Two, four, yeah. six, eight, yep. Yeah. 10 yep. plus the guy. So, so 31 shots another again. 31 shots, but there's only one sergeant on this one. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So here's the first round of Oh, 31. this is better for me. Some more misses there. So that's seven misses, so that's yeah. eight hits so far. Yep. Second 15, and I'll roll one more. Okay, one, two, three, four, much better. 11 yeah. and eight is 19. 19, and I got one more. One. 20. Hits, 20 hits, uh, looking for fours. Okay, so this here's the 15 of 20, looking for fours. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight so far. Oh, that's a lot. And I got five more to go. Okay, so eight so far plus Nine, um, 10, 11, 11, 11 saves. saves. I got four on the sergeant, right? Yes, sir. And these are only one wound models, I think. They don't get two wounds. If I'm not mistaken, destroyers are only mm -hmm. one wound models, but they did bump up the attacks. Yeah, so we'll try these four at one at a time. First on the two up. And of course, Richard with your artificer saves, these ones are killing you. <laughs> that was like the third time that that has happened. And so now we have what? 10 normal saves? 10 normal saves indeed. Two, four, five. I'll just roll this twice to see if it matters. Three ups. That is two dead, and then more. Yep, three, then, four, five. No, that's not. That was it. Oh, I okay. Five at a time. Okay. And then the next five. That is another two dead. Three dead. They are all gone. But oh, but I get uh, shrouded saves. You do. Oh, so the sergeant get a sh got a shroud in the first. One. Just roll the sergeant yeah. first. Let's see. Let's see if it matters. It's a five up shroud. It did shroud. So. I'll roll these shrouds, because I made this mistake, I'll roll just all of these five, which are wounds, shrouds as well. That's fine. And see how many go through. These are on the threes. Uh, three guys die. Okay. So That's the fair sergeant enough. and three guys die. Yeah. Our mistake, it's fair yeah. enough. So three guys are dead. That is enough for a break check. It is indeed. And so, I am not going to shoot anything else at them, so I'm going to let you go ahead and so this is, uh, take that stubborn break eight. check. Uh, stubborn seven if the sergeant's dead. The sergeant's not dead. He survived. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's a nine, though. They are running. And they are running. 3D6. They are in 3D6 because they have jump packs. Jump packs. 3D6. Yep. That's not what I wanted to see. They are running uh, 12. 12 inches backwards. We'll move those because I think uh, that's the last of the shooting. That will we'll be. Be back with assault. So for the assault phase for the Death Guard, the only assault we have is the continuation of what's happening with the Contemptor. Um, because I didn't shoot the Grave Wardens, I elected to actually charge in to try and polish that guy off. We're going to start with the Chaplain. Now the Chaplain does have a Power Scythe, but he strikes at initiative 5 ahead of the Contemptor. So we're going to get him. He's got 4 attacks base on the charge. So uh, weapon skill 5. five so 4 is. Yes, but we do have Hatred. Yep. So 4 is. That's 2 hits, two so, hits far. so far. That's four, four hits, okay, okay, but it's a scythe, right? It's a scythe, so I do still need sixes to wound you, but these are going to be wrens if I actually get the sixes. So here we go. Um, Nothing. No. Actually, scythes are, sorry, are plus two to strength. That's my fault. Is it plus two to strength? Well, let me double check. I know that uh, Typhon had his at plus two, but let me just check this one real quick. Just I know to they make have sure. reaping blow, but there's no reaping blow for this. Stop you it. are correct. Let me just double check that very fast. A power scythe is plus two strength indeed, yeah, so I was correct and the rending is on a six. 
Normal initiative, it is not unwieldy. Okay, so it's three plus save though, right? It's, no, two plus save. It's still your normal save, but so I did wound three times. Three times, two plus save. Okay. And we're good. All right. By the skin of our teeth there. Okay. We are good. And then I've got, uh, at the same initiative as you, I've got the destroyers. Well, the destroyers are going to use their unwieldy, so it's going to yeah. be your contemptor. What does he want to strike at? Well, he's going to go after your terminators because he can instant death them and it's multiple wounds there. Yes, he can. So three attacks and your lower weapon skill as well, right? Yeah, so, so you're hitting, hitting on threes. threes. These guys are not very good. Oh my god, still You're not just very good one, either. <laughs> still just one just hit. Just one. Killing on twos. And that's a D3, well, three saves, three saves because it's brutal yes, three brutal on threes. one guy. So this is a four up invul. Yes. And we Oh live. my god! We live! Oh you my gosh! You live with all of those. So this contempt is probably not long for this world. Yes. Yeah, so so for the power fist and chain fist, right? Well, well just... all right, let me get the destroyers out of the way. Yeah. Let's do this in the right order. So that's six attacks out of the destroyers. And uh, not bad, four hits. Four hits. But and I need sixes hit. to wound. Uh, but no, is... no, no, because it's uh, automatic, because it's multiple bombs. Oh, you're not doing the multiple bombs? Oh, I'm sorry, I rolled normal attacks, yeah. excuse me. So this is just... Uh, two multiple bombs. Two multiple bombs. Uh, two wounds. Two wounds, and these are two five-ups. Yep. And that's two more wounds. Okay. So he's taken three wounds here. Yes. So now I've got three chain fists there. I'm going to go ahead and separate these because they re-roll failed to wound rolls against red knots. Are we going to be alive after this? Unlikely. Nine attacks on the charge, and they have hatred, so... So far we've got, well, that's a scatter marker. All right, so far we've got two hits. Yep. We get to re-roll because of hatred. Oh yeah, you need on fives, right? Yep. But that helped a lot. It gives so us another three. three. So five hits. Yep. Strength eight. nine. Strength eight, so three is to wound. But because of the chain fists, they get to re-roll fail yes, to wound correct. rolls. Okay, so that's going to be three so far. Mm -hmm. And then the re-roll. Just three, so three, three invuls, sir. Three invuls. Yep. Uh, pass uh, one. Pass one. So he's got five wounds total. He's got one wound left, I think. No, that was only uh, two wounds that I did to you. Uh, but you, I had one wound before. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So he was already on a wound, and you've done four wounds so far here. Okay, so then here's the two chain fists. And this could kill him off. Or excuse me, the two uh, power fists. So these are six attacks, again, hitting on fives. Rerolling. Rerolling for the hatred. I kind of don't like it. Yes, I want an explosion here. That would help. Okay, so that's three, or yeah. two, excuse me. Two. And these are not re-rolling, and they're threes to wound. Come on, fail, fail, fail. Uh, one. Only one wound. So I, gotta fail, your I gotta fail this so he can explode. Yes, yes he does he explode. Does fail. He explodes. Okay. So it's one of the strange times I want an explosion. All right, roll to a distance. <laughs> one inch. So basically everybody in base-to-base -base contact. That is four of your uh, terminators. Yes. Two of the, uh, what do you call it, the destroyers there. That's correct. So I'll do the four terminators. Okay. Uh, this is on twos. Okay. Uh, so that's four guys. Just your normal saves on ones they die. Yep. Come on, I need to see some death here. Yes, one is dead. Okay. <laughs> there goes one. And then the two destroyers. We have an inbuilt shrouded six, oh. which I always forget about yes. on my grave wardens. So for the one guy that dies, yep. yeah, he's dead. And then this one here, a one, nothing for, oh, that's one of them. So the second one. Yes. Uh, one more save from for a destroyer. destroyer for three plus. He is uh, dead. Yep. So, so destroyer dead, and one, I'm guessing, just a normal... Non-chain fist, non -chain please. fist. Yeah. A non-chain fist is dead here. Okay. And we will consolidate that and move on to Empress Children, turn three. Movement phase for the Empress Children for turn three. We went right ahead and did the movement phase, so I'm just going to tell you what we did here. It's all going to come down to protecting our comms array because we need those two points. He has hidden his guy in there, so we're going for a draw. We need to take out everything that could possibly threaten it. His land raider is now immobilized, so can't actually see it, so he's not a threat. The only real threat is going to be the the death. Uh, sorry, the um, terminators the and wardens, also yeah. the grave wardens and also that sickerin. So what we did is we managed to rally our uh, destroyer squad, so they put themselves in front. We decided to jump and run our Phoenix Terminators. There's no point in, sorry, our Palatine Blades, because there's no point in charging these guys because of all of their shenanigans, death clouds and all this stuff. It would have been bad. They have fists. We don't have any invulnerable saves. It would be painful there. Yep. So we're going to quickly roll our dangerous terrain checks. So we have the sword on a wound yep. here. On a one, he's dead. That he is fine. Okay. Then we have four guys with swords. Uh, spears? Spears, sorry. Four guys with spears. Uh, I think they're all good here as well. That's okay. uh, th that's just yep. And then we have the sergeant on a spear. 
and he is fine. And finally, the chaplain with his rapier, and he is fine too. Okay. So they managed to survive without getting any damage. Since these are the biggest threat, we've turned our uh, Storm Eagle around. You're he a moved. hovering Storm Eagle. Yeah, he's hovering, so he is, he is vulnerable to shots. But we need to kill. There's no attrition again, so him dying isn't the end of the world. He moved nine. We unloaded off Phoenix Terminators there, full seven there. Uh, we're going to keep them. I don't think they're going to charge either, but we're keeping them in play just to be there and uh, be a distraction. I did react. So you I did, did move these Grave Wardens and the Chaplain backwards to make that charge harder if you decided to go that way. And uh, we also moved our... Uh, which will it our um, Javelin? javelins backwards and I think your moving reaction might have put me out of 24 But we'll measure that in the shooting phase for our melters there. Okay, and you had something in the last I think over here that moved. we did uh, The contemptor needs to go forward and kill this so the contemptor moves far forward as possible without getting into difficult terrain He's gonna shoot next and charge if he needs to that is really the last thing that is threatening uh, from shooting our comms array uh, We will be back with the shooting phase next Like we've said, the biggest fear is these Grave Wardens here. So we're going to start with two missile launchers. They've not done much this game, but hopefully they can maybe sneak in an instant death there. Hitting on threes. That's two hits. Wounding on twos with crack. Yep. That is one. There's a one there and a six. Let's see if we can sneak in a wound. That's a scattered ice. That That's is a, sc a scattered ice. <laughs> so the one wound from the crack missile was successfully saved, so no casualties there. And now we're going to move on to rapid firing and fear of the legion. This one last guy into the destroyer squad because he still does have a melt bomb and it can jump. I do. So that's three shots. Okay. Hitting on threes. Uh, that's one wound. My dice today. Wounding on fours. That is a one. He is evading all of this fire. <laughs> he's ducking. He's weaving. He's jiving. We're not going to do any shots from the jump packs at all on this side here, but okay. we are going to take the javelins. The javelins do need to shoot at these guys. So there's two melters and four last cannons. Are you going to do anything against these terminators? Now I have a native six up shroud on these guys, but I'm going to go ahead and invade because I need the higher chance because that's just way too many stuff at strength eight, AP one, AP two. So we have two melter shots twin linked and they are in range of 24. Yes. So this is hitting on threes. Uh, cocked, I will roll that again. That is a six. Okay. And then wounding on twos. Yep. Uh, look at this one. Okay. Always this. So there is uh, one. I've got one so far. Instant death. Roll yeah. your last cannon. Yeah. The last cannons the same. are four shots. Yep. Again, hitting on threes. No re rolls here. Look at this. Two ones. What are these dice? And that's two hits with a five and a four. Okay. And then wounding on twos. That's three instant deaths there. Okay. That you need to save on your four up invul. So I'm going to take my four up invul and file, followed by the five up shroud. So here's the invul. And we pass two. Oh my god, there's these guys six. are so tanky! <laughs> and then here's the five up shroud. No, uh, no. So, so one, one guy down. dies. I'm guessing you want the guy with the normal fist, right? Ah, uh, yes, please. Uh, yes, there's one guy with a fist who's still alive. Okay. Over here. That's fine. And we're going to keep piling in these shots. And so the Storm Eagle is also going to shoot. We're going to shoot everything we have there at this guy. Okay. So here it's another twin linked melter in the front. Yep. So hitting on threes. That's a wound. Wounding on twos. That is a fail. Wow. We have to throw these dice away. We're going to change some dice up here. Okay. We've also got two twin linked LAS cannons. Yes. So these are hitting on threes. They have both wounded. Both wounding hit. On, both hit, yes. yes. Wounding on twos. That is two more wounds that you need to save. Okay, so then here are the four up invulns, yep. followed up by a six up shroud this time. Uh, and we pass one. Okay, and a six up shroud. Six up shroud. No. no, so another one's another dead, one so down. I'm guessing it's just going to be have to yeah, one of the these guys, guy there. That's closest fine. guy over here. Yep. And we do have a blast template, but we don't have to aim at the same unit. And it's pointless aiming the blast at the Terminators because they are just going to evade it uh, and re-roll their... Yeah, well, uh, the heavy, heavy. Yeah, allows me to re-roll. So we're going to dump it on here. Also, we were a bit too close to what we have our own troops who do need to survive. <laughs> so we're going to roll this here. That is, oh, 10 inches minus four. So six. Six inches this way. Well, that might be good. Might get the uh, destroyer. It does get the destroyer, just the destroyer. Okay. One destroyer. And I think this is strength five. So three to wound, sir. Yep. Three to wound. 
That's a two. Our shooting and wounding here is not a very good. We have whittled a few down, but maybe not enough for the time being. Or that destroyer is just really lucky. Yes. Is there anything else shooting at the Grave Warden? Nothing else is shooting at the Grave Warden, so you do have a break check there. I do, so here it is. So here's Come on, check. break. Uh, <gasps> 10. 10. They are. They are. They are breaked. Because I think it's a stubborn nine, but uh, we'll double check that. But let me just go ahead and roll this uh, for the full falling back just in case. Uh, three. Three inches. Then, so then we'll I'll... check that and we'll be back with that in just a moment. But let's move on to the rest of the shooting. So we only have the Contemptor left. Where you're gonna... Oh, sorry. We have the Contemptor left. We're going to shoot at the Sikorin. Uh Are you going to do anything for this? I do still have one more shooting phase reaction. I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to let it go through because yep. you're so close. I'm so close. Okay. Yep. Got six shots. Okay. Don't roll the scatter dice. <laughs> Something we've been doing a lot of. Twos to hit. Uh, there's a miss there. There's so two, two misses. misses so yep. it's four. And I'm fishing for sixes. Fishing for sixes to run because front armor 13. Yeah. There's and one six. There's, there's two, two sixes. And then I need uh, D3s. D3s. Yeah, three are better to pen. So there's two pens, two yeah. fives. Yeah, yeah. So I do get a uh, six up cover from yes, this little fence thing from here. From the fence thing over there. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, one, so one, one, one so ten. One pen. Uh, we'll just see what it does. A five. That's another weapon destroyed. Weapon destroyed. So I think that's the first one on this one because you destroyed it on the last one. That is correct. So, so I'm there's gonna... just one weapon destroyed. Yep. We're going to risk a grab in the face, but we're going to put it as far, well, in the center there of your, in the center of your guy there. Okay. So let's now roll the scatter distance. Whoops. Uh, don't worry about it. He's probably not long for this world anyway. We'll He's got see. Two yep. wounds left. Yep. That's on target. Okay. Roll on there. the hay haywire chart, sir. Haywire chart is a. Two, so that's two, just another. So just another glance. Okay. Uh, and I think you get a six up. I do, yeah, the cover save. Um, yeah. He's got one whole point left, unless this is successful. No, no he's, so got, he's one got one whole point one left. He's got one whole point left. Yep. The final thing we're going to do is we're going to shoot the cacophony, the sole cacophony, into that one tactical squad just to see if we can manage to pin them. Just because I saved my reaction, I will go ahead and return fire. Okay, so we will roll. One gets hot, so he might kill himself. Might kill himself. No. And he doesn't. So two hits. So two hits, and then twos to wound. Two wounds. You can tank on your sergeant, and you do have an apothecary. I will try the sergeant. So that is Fine. successful. Yep. And successful. successful. All right. Okay, so you're returning fire. I am. Uh, this is a lot of dice. Uh, Let's have a look. Yeah, see what, if you, you can see what's in fire? rapid fire for me. Oh, three guys in rapid, uh, three guys in rapid fire range there. Okay. So there's three, so that's four. Three attacks each, right? Because you're fury, you can fury, right? Yes, I can. Three, six, nine, and then two for everybody else. 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21. And the bolt pistol is not in range. No. So 21 shots. We'll resolve this quickly off camera and come back with the save results. But I think, honestly, he is dead. Uh, I'm happy to take him off the board. For the assault phase, we have two charges. We're going to start with the tactical squad. They're going to charge the other tactical squad. Are you going to react? I am. I'm going to overwatch, absolutely. So let's see how far they go, see if it even matters. Minus two. Well, that's a scatter. Oh, that's a scatter. <laughs> You're going to make it. The but question is six. just how much. Six plus, plus ten. ten. So that's ten eight, inches, eight, eight inches yep. over that. Now, you can fury because of this is Death God, right? I can. So Death 31 <laughs> shots coming on the overwatch. So this is the first 15. Uh, not oh. too good. So the first 15, that looks like only seven hits so far. Yep. Second 15. Whoops, I dropped that. Uh, also not too good. So this one is seven. So seven and eight is 15. 15. And, and then, then I got one more. Oh, one more, yeah. So nope. Nothing. So 15. And fours to wound. This could be not as bad as you thought, unless this is good. Oh, that's bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, sir. And you can take six. four of those on your sergeant. I will. I have not been doing well doing this tanking on the sergeant. Okay. But here's to hoping. So first one. Six, yes, that's a good start. That's a good start. Second one. Four, that's a good second one. Third one. A scatter, so. <laughs> <laughs> on target? <laughs> on target. Hopefully it's on target again. And that's a two, yep. just enough. Yep. The fourth one for the sergeant, that is a four. four. You're good. And then the last one is on a three plus. Two of them, actually. Two of them, that's a six. Yep. And then a three. They're all in there. Very good. So we'll do this. And also the another one we're going to charge is our Contemptor. He's going to charge into that six. You basically need like, don't roll a three or less. Yeah. So You're there good. is a six there plus oh. one. He is in. Yep. We're going to take out that in a moment. 
So we managed to get in. We have six guys, and since Empress Children strike first, we're going to be having 12 attacks into that tactical squad to see if we can whittle down some of the returning fire there. Indeed. So they're hitting on fours because we're all the same. Uh, taking out the ones that have missed here, that is not too bad, to be Pretty honest. Pretty statistically average. And then fours again to wound yep. to help whittle this down. Uh, that's worse. That is only one. Wow. So I'm going to go ahead save. and take this as a three up. Good. And he's fine. Right. So now you've got all your return. I do. I got a pile in. So this I is. I think it. everybody will be able to pile in. in yeah, there. everybody but the fist. So there. This guy's going to come there. This guy's going to come here. Okay. So the fist will go last. I have nine regular guys plus an apothecary. So that's going to be nine. 11, 12 attacks coming yeah, back at you. Because gets three, right? Uh, three, yeah, he's two base, and yeah. then plus he has two weapons. 12, so an identical 12, see if you do better than I do. Yes, now i got to separate the three for the apothecary, because those chain are swords. chain sword with shred. Yes. So here's the regular guys, nine attacks. I'll help you out here. If you can help me. Uh, those are all missing, and those are all hits, so four hits. Okay, and let's see if we win with that. Uh, it's going to be three so three, far. Three, and then you have your chain swords. Yep, so my chain sword to hit. It's going to be one hit. One hit. And four oh, to one. Uh, yeah, re rolling on the wounds, right? Not yes. There. So, yeah, and that's so another one. Five saves. Five total saves. I can tank this on the sergeant, but I'm going to keep that sergeant's uh, chain, the fist on there. Okay. So, four normal saves. Three ups. It's actually five. Five. Oh, well. Got one more. One more. Okay. That's going to be three, three dead. dead. All right. Three dead in return. Not a good roll. Okay. Now we have fists. Uh, well, my fist goes first because it still gets plus one initiative. Yeah, one. you're so uh, initiative, initiative two. two. So three attacks there. Okay. Hitting on th fours. Uh, one hit. All hitting right. on twos. One dead. Okay, so one dead for me. The apothecary is not going to save him. Yeah. So now my fist piles in, and that's two attacks because I didn't charge. So hitting you on fours. It's going to be two hits. Mm -hmm. And killing on twos. It's going to be one more dead. So I lose that by three. You do. You lose. I killed four. You killed one. So you're going to be checking on a five, sir. Let's see if these guys flee. They are going to flee. They're fleeing. Okay. Initiative roll off. See if you get swept. I rolled a six. Right. I can't. You can't catch up because yep. the drawer gets me away. I fire. I fly. You fly. I run. Nine inches will resolve that later. Yeah, they'll be fleeing this direction over here. And we're going to do our contemptor now. Yep. I do need to kill this. If I don't kill this, it'll be abysmal. If, if you can't kill this, something is wrong. So it's four attacks on the charge, hitting on twos. Uh, two hits. And of course, we roll, of course, the mandatory two ones <laughs> here for this. And then now this is strength nine against armor value 11 on the back, I think. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. I mean, you just need yeah. to do one whole point. So let's see what happens. Yes, that's two pens. There's two. That's there. You do need to see if it blows up. Oh yes, because it's AP two. Yep. Any sixes? Yes, two sixes. Oh so my gosh! Roll for the distance. I don't think it can reach you. I think it only reaches me. But we'll, uh, we'll see. see. A five inch. Uh, oh, five inches might be enough to get. It might. Let's check over here. So if we look at that five, yeah, you got at least three guys. Three guys. So we we'll just yeah. roll three. Okay. Here on twos. Uh, two guys. Okay. And then I guess you roll on mine. Yeah. So here's for the tactical squad. And all good. All good. And then just roll for my contemptor, contemptor. on a three. Uh, and that's no. a two. So that is gone for there. We did manage to do what we needed to by blowing up that Sycharin. You did. Um, but losing that tactical squad and fleeing 10 inches backwards is, is not a good thing. We'll be back with turn four for the Death Guard. So movement for the Death Guard, we actually don't have a lot left to move, and we got to be very, very sneaky on how we do this. Um, at worst, I'm probably looking at a draw. At best, I may still be able to pull this out, but Rich has done a really good job of making it very hard. So starting for the movement, we've got the Tactical Squad here. So after they routed the other Tactical Squad, I consolidated, and now I've moved my 7 inches. I do have a chance to get an assault onto this thing. I do have a melt -a bomb and a Power Fist on the Sergeant, so it's actually not necessarily... Uh, out of my control to actually get there this turn. Long charge though. Long charge indeed, but a chance is a chance. The second tactical squad here elected to run, and the reason why they're doing this is they're essentially serving to screen off uh, my other stuff from the uh, Phoenix Terminators and the Warlord there. I went ahead and moved the maximum that I could with the remaining members of the Grave Wardens here plus the Destroyer. Again, depending on what happens in the shooting phase, I may be able to find a gap to go ahead and charge into the uh, solar array or the power station or the void shield generator, whatever you want to call it. 
So that is it for my movement. I don't have a lot left, and the shooting is gonna be very critical in just a minute. So starting in the shooting phase for the Death Guard, I'm gonna open up with the first of the recon squads, and what we're gonna try and do is shoot at the Palantina Kilas to clear the space for me to try and get a charge off onto the target. So here's the first five shots of the sniper rifles. I'm not shrouding because there is a five inch blast template which will instant death me. This Please. is true. I'm gonna get some saves at least and uh, I've got multiple wounds. Okay, so here we go. So here's the sniper rifles and we've hit four times, which is nice. Yep. And now we threes to wound and he fives rend. That's gonna be, ooh, ooh. that's gonna be three rends and one normal. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna make you take one at a time on your champion. So the first rend. On my uh, thing. So I get a five up invol plus uh, wall. My cover is the same as my five up, right? Yes. So, so just five up invol. So first one. Uh, it's a five. five. You're successful. Okay. Second. Nope. One. And so. he's got two wounds only, right? Yep. And so here's the third. Five and is good. And now one normal save. Normal save on the champion as well? I'm making you take everything on him. He two. is fine too. He's got one wound left. He's got one wound left. Yes. Okay. And here's the other sniper squad. We're going to go into uh, the same, same target. Squad. Okay. Yep. Let's see, Let's see where this goes. These uh, are snipers. Three, three hit, hit, four hits. Four hits again. Okay. Can you look for threes and fives? Yes, once again. And I think you know what I'm trying to do. Yep. So that's going to be oh. one rend and three normal saves. I'm going to start with the champion again on the rend. And he's fine. He's fine. He's five. Oof. Now go to the next. Uh, these are normal saves. Normal the, saves. Again. Yep. He's fine. Third. Next one. Fine. Last one. He's wow, good. Wow, that was some good rolling. He is finally holding. Okay, so. Go away, you snipers. Go away, snipers. <laughs> All right, so next up, I'm going to go ahead and fire the Land Raider. Um, the only things that I can basically shoot at is I can shoot at your Contemptor. Yeah, there. the Contemptor is the only thing. Uh, just the top of his head, I think, is in sight. Yep, so yeah. here we go. So here's the Heavy Bolter. Uh, that's going to be twin linked. It's going to be four hits. Mm -hmm. And you're fishing for sixes. Fishing for sixes. Uh, nothing. nothing. All right. And here's the two Laz cannons from the Swanson. It's going to be one, one hit. hit. And to wound. It's going to be one wound, one, one involve, sir. Five up. Oh, sorry. Five yep. up involve. Yep. No. So he's got five wounds left. He's got five wounds left. He takes a wound. Okay. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and do the Scorpius, everybody's friend. The Scorpius, this uh, bad boy over here. Yes. Where are you going? Because it's kind of spread. I'm going like that where I can get four on a good hit. Four on a good hit? Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. So roll your scatter and see if it scatters miles away. Right. I'm going to shroud this, by the way. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be this way one, one inch. inch. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take it. I could yeah. re-roll it if I wanted to. I think it takes like one guy out. I think it takes one guy out. Yeah. We'll call it three. Yeah, three. I, I think we call it three. Okay. So three guys. I'm going to go on twos with a breaching on a four up. Yep. Come on, all ones. That's going to be one breach and um, one normal save. Okay, so well, the breach, I will take the breach uh, on the guy who is already wounded. So this is just going to be a five up save. Yep. Nope. nope, he's dead. And then a normal save. Yep. On a two up, just one of the normal guys. He is fine. Okay, and then so, you need to make a immediate pinning check. Uh, stubborn 10. So is that a chaplain or a champion? Chaplain. It's a chaplain. It's a chaplain. Ah, no. okay. So, um, oh, you're fine. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about Destroy your guy. Destroy my models. Sorry about your guy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and okay. so, oh, surviving this shooting phase here. Yes. Surviving. So I That's think I gone. only have one other potential oh, he, he thing to shoot. He has a wound. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think I only have one other potential thing to shoot. And I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I might as well shoot uh, at your Aquilas with my, com uh, excuse me, with my Grave Wardens. Yep, so they've got the flame templates. I think they can both hit. It will flame with you guys. So if you can just think, show for me. I think it's really two and two. But if we go at an angle, can I get more? Uh, are you allowed to shoot up and down? That's the question. No, so no, no, I'm just gonna pick a yeah, shooting so it's up. Yeah, so it's two and two. Two regardless and two? Of, regardless, because if, if you could shoot down, you could shoot these guys, but no, I don't no, think no. it's wide enough at the distance. No, 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 that's not the intent. I'm so, not gonna try and game that. Yeah. No. Okay. So it's uh, four guys, basically, okay, so for the flamer templates. Yes, yeah, so poison three, up, three up first for the Death Cloud projectors, and that's going to be three, three wounds, wounds so far. Yeah. And then you have your normal assault, assault grenade, launchers. grenade launchers. Four attacks each, right? Yep, so hitting on threes, and that's not, that's all right, so that's five hits, okay. and poison once again. So, 
And that looks like it's going to be another four. So that was a six, excuse me. Yeah, so seven, right? Seven total. Well, I just got to take these on tanks. So seven wounds on twos, basically. Yep. And uh, they got two wounds each. They're uh, in cover, doesn't matter. Can't shroud. Nothing. Nothing. Good roll. Whoa, surviving. A bolt pistol from the chaplain just because it can. That's going to hit. Yep. And that's going to wound. Okay. Maybe this is what does it. So a single one? No. Nope. Ah, Five is fine. Okay. So that's going to be it for the turn four shooting for the death guard. We managed to survive the shooting. Ooh, this is going to be uh, tight buttholes because I thought I was going to actually have a chance to clear space for the grave warden to go in there. So it's going to come down basically to the tax squad. Can they make this long charge in just a minute? So turn four and perhaps the most critical charge of the entire game. We've measured off camera and the tactical squad, it needs an eight inch charge to get into contact with the last objective marker. We do have a melta bomb and a fist on the sergeant and we do have crack grenades on the regular guys. So let's see if we can yeah, get in. No difficult terrain as well because death guard. <laughs> because of death guard. So can we get that eight? So let's see what happens. Come on. No, no it's a five. five. So we search so forward it, two and a half. Yeah. And then it's uh, Empress Children's turn four. Turn four for the Empress Children. It's getting close. We are requiring to save our main objective, the comms array, to whittle out a draw. His command squad is inside the land raider, so there's really nothing we can do about that. It is turn four. Turn four, turn five on a two plus, turn six on a five plus. But let's see how this goes. The major threat is his grave wardens there. So what we've done is we've moved everything to be able to try and shoot at this. First off, we've spread out our Palantine Blade Aquilas to really act as a roadblock to, for at least a couple turns there. And also our two de uh, destroyers have come in to join the party. They jumped up, they didn't suffer any wounds uh, from this. So we're surrounding our comms array from assault. We moved our Storm Eagle forward. It is in hover still, so it did move it, it's decent distance. And then these guys here also moved around the javelins. Again, everything is going to be going <laughs> into this. Into my uh, poor, poor Grave Warden grave Chaplain. They have been surviving. They have. So we couldn't move our, Palantine, sorry, our Phoenix Terminators because your tactical squad is there. So we're probably going to have to charge through that at some point in the next assault phase. I think so. And then our uh, sorry, Contemptor yes. turned around, moved his full distance, which was six inches through the difficult terrain, to try and maybe assault this tactical squad from the back. And I forgot to say that we actually managed to rally our tactical squad there. They're coming back. We'll try and get some pot shots out uh, at this tactical squad again to whittle everything down. It's a last ditch effort for the Empress Children. It's just throwing bodies at this objective and trying to defend it now. It's the so, smart play. Yep, yeah, we'll be in the shooting phase next. Shooting phase for the Empress Children, and we're just going to start with this lone tactical squad guy. He's still got a grudge against the Destroyer. He missed him last time. All He's right. going to fury once again into this guy here. We're looking for a threes to hit three shots in rapid fire range. Yep, there's Spre one over here too. Spreading this out. That for you. There you go. <laughs> and then we're looking for fours. That's two wounds. Come on, fail one. Can he pass? He can't he's, indeed. Oh he's my still God, alive. He's still alive. And he has a melter bomb. He has a melter bomb. So that being the case, I think that the crack guys have to shoot at him as well. I two think missile that's the way to play. Yep. So this is hitting on threes. That's two hits. This is killing on twos. That is one death. He is dead. There is no save from that AP3. It's yes, not the and I'm not going to waste on the shroud on him because I need to save other stuff. So we have had to sadly sacrifice the missile launchers into death, but we have a lot of instant death on the board still. You do. So we're going to shoot the uh, Storm Eagle at these guys here. Are you going to shroud? No, because I think you're going to have more shots out of the javelin. So I'm going to let this go through. Okay, so it's one shot twin linked for the multi melter. Yep. That's a five. Looking for a two. That is a two. Mm. So that is one AP one. Well, it's just the same. Just do your last cannons. And first. two twin linked last cannons. Yep. Uh, good for the twin linked. Oh, still didn't matter. And then a two again. And that's just enough for two saves there. Okay. So these are going to be four up involves on the cataphracti armor, followed up by a six up shroud. 
And those are both oh fast. Oh my god. Inbone's best. These guys are surviving so much. They've been much more tanky than usual. Okay, well then we're going to have to put the javelins. Okay. Javelins are going to put everything they can. So that's two melters, twin linked. This I'm definitely going to shroud because it's more shots. So that is two melters and then twos. Okay. That is two wounds on the melters. And All then right. we have four las cannons. Yep. So that's three and then two. Oh my god, there's Triple three one. ones! Three ones, so you just got two saves there with a four up and a five up. Alright, so here's the four up in once on, again. Fellies. Can they be heroes? Uh oh, uh, one's got uh, one's no. got a chance. Now five, five up. up. No, no, one, one does down. go down. Okay. And by the way, in the last phase, we realized they were stubborn 10. They aren't stubborn 9. Yes. So they did stay around. They hadn't fleed away. Yes. Just to correct what we did over there. Okay, well, we have the Contemptor who's going to shoot his stuff into the back of these guys here. Okay. Six shots into these guys. Just because I twos. haven't used uh, my second reaction yet, I'll go ahead and return fire. Return fire, wow. Why not? So, two missed. Actually, shroud. Let me, shroud. Let me, let me, let me change <laughs> that. It doesn't make any sense to return fire. I need to and shroud. Yes, yeah, you need yes, to survive. Yes, yes, yes. And then uh, we're going to roll for twos to wound, sixes rend. Yep. Uh, that's one rend and three wounds. Okay. So you have an apothecary for the rend, I guess. Actually, it would have been uh, return fire anyhow, because I forgot I have an apothecary there. It's yes. the same thing. So, so you can return fire. Yeah, okay. So here's the three. I'm going to try and tank on the sergeant one at a time. Yep. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, oh, and I feel no pain. Feel no pain. Yes, good. he didn't feel the pain. And then the gods. rend, this is just the five of feel no pain from the apothecary. And, that and he is, saved it with a six. Six, look at this. And so... God, they are surviving well here. They are? You still got a grab gun. And now. I do have a grab, so we're going to do a little scatter. Grab is going to go in the back there. Okay. And it's uh, on target, because that's target. a five. Okay. So I think that is... Let's yeah, call it five. five. Five guys? Yep. Five guys here. And we're looking for fives. Yeah, toughness checks. Uh, one. Okay. I will take this on. Normal do, guy, not the sergeant. We do leave de dangerous train there for next turn. Yes. So, and the normal guy saves. Normal guy saves. Oh, this is not going well. Now you return fire, right? I do, and I've got there, I've still got eight normal guys and one uh, apothecary. I think that everybody but the last guy is not in Fury of the Legion range, okay. rapid fire range, sorry. So it's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 20, 2, 23. Including the bolt no, pistol? Yep, yeah, yeah, uh, 23, 24. 24. The bolt pistol. Okay. Uh, the bolt pistol oh, is in range. 24 shots. That's actually a lot of shots coming from these guys. It is. So I'm going to roll these eight at a time. So here's the first eight. It looks like uh, four hits. Four hits, yeah. Okay. Yep. Thank you very much. The second eight looks to be, ooh, seven Two, hits. Four, yep, seven. So it's 11. 11 so far. And here's the last eight. And ooh, another seven. So that's 18. 18, jeez. Okay, now you're fishing for sixes. Yes. So here's and the first. I'm going to roll nine at a time okay. twice. Yeah. So okay. Looking for sixes. Looking for sixes. So the first batch, there's absolutely None. nothing. And the second batch? Which means the second batch is going to have eight sixes. <laughs> no. But uh, I get one. Two. 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 So I've got two, two plus saves. Two, two pluses. Let's see what you get. Uh, one wound. Yes. So you snuck one in. Yes, so we did. four wounds left. We did. Probably won't make a difference, but uh, hey, I'll take what I can get. We do also have the tactical squad at the back. They're going to rapid fire snap shooting here. So there's two attacks each. Yes. So six shots. Six shots. We're looking for sixes. Yes. It's an off chance. Uh, nada. Nothing. Nada, nada, nada. And then I don't think there's any point. Oh, you actually, let me check if they have a, I think it's a one use Phosphex bomb here only. So I don't have anything else to shoot at with these. But you do owe me a break check for this. Uh, this. I do. I owe you a break check for the one casualty over there. Yeah, and it's stubborn 10, like we it's said stubborn last time. 10, yes. Stubborn 10, yes. I thought it was. Let's go ahead and roll that. And That's yeah, fine. Yeah, we're way two. on. They are good. Uh, we'll be with the assault phase next for turn four. Assault phase for the Empress Children. We're going to start with the Contemptor and his long bong charge. I need, I'm nine inches away. I need an eight on my roll to try and get into these guys. Yep. Let's see what happens. Uh, no, it's six, six. So move me forward three. Yep. And uh, trying to catch up with these guys, but slowly but surely. Now, this is kind of a given. We're charging in here. We're just going to take some overwatch on this. Yes. Just going to roll this for posterity's sake. And that's seven inches. So they are perfectly fine inside okay. there. 
And again, Let's see this 30 shots. 31 shots of Overwatch because it's a full size squad with an apothecary. So the first batch. And that's going to be pretty good. That's 11. 11 first. Second okay. 15. It's going to be pretty good again. That's going to be 8. 8. So 19. 19. So I got one more to go. 19. So 19. So here's 15, meaning fours to wound. So it looks like 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, and we said nineteen, right? Yeah. So I got four more, and two more. So nine. Nine. And since I can do wound shenanigans with these guys because they're all characters, just roll it. I'm just going to roll all these for two pluses: two, four, six, eight, nine. Let's see what we get here. Uh, there is one, one, one wound here on these guys. We're gonna. Pile in and then start some rolls for to hits and we'll be back with the wounds. Okay, we've got the charge in here. All the spears go first because the Delegatus is using a thunder hammer. My poor, poor attack squad. So they have three attacks each on the charge and four for the Prefector. Okay. So we are going to roll all of this. We're in the weapons go five, looking for threes. Oof. Oh, some twos here. Ooh. Okay, so what's that? Two, four, six, eight, ten exactly here. Yep. Strength six, looking for twos, murder strike on sixes, and rending on sixes. But the AP3 is standard, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, that's not, that's not great, but that's one murder strike and two, four, six normal saves. Okay. So you can tank these on the sergeant because I think he is in coherency. He is. Um, I think that's going to be the play, right? So, uh, so I've got six normal, right? Yeah, you got six normal. First one. One, two, two three, three, and four. four. Okay, so two are dead, and a third. Well, I still got to feel no pain. Oh yes, for from me. the pot carrier. Yes, great. Uh, and oh I pass wow! Both. Oh my wow, god! Wow! 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 And then just one is dead. One is just dead from the murder strike. One is strike. dead from the murder strike. Okay, so we'll just, just kill anybody. This. And then you pile in with your ten guys. Yes. Well, nine guys now. Yes, uh, and, with the and exception the of the sergeant. Yeah, and the apothecary. Okay, so I got nine guys. Wow. Let's take good a look saves. here. That was very good. Well, can I have my dice? Oh, sorry. Give me my dice. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I got nine guys. Yeah. Well, actually eight because it's the sergeant. And then I've got the apothecary. He has two attacks base and, and two weapons. Yeah. All right. So on all of this, I need fives. Yeah, watch me get uh, six. You need sixes. Minus one for, Ooh, that's for right. the. So your, you need sixes to hit. Your weapon skill six. My weapon skill is five, but it's minus one to hit for. Okay. Oh, it's, mi it's minus one. Is it minus one to hit or minus one weapon skill? Let's double check what the Phoenix, the Sonic Shriekers, minus one percentage to hit. So you're needing fives. You're needing sixes. Sixes. All right. Here we go. And that's one. One six. And do we wound? We do. We do. And a two plus save. Yes. Nope. Oh, I thought and I was gonna good. get a wound. All right. Very good. And now we come back with the Delegatus, basically, because he is at an I2. I, I two. Yes. So he has three attacks base. Yes. Plus one for charging. Yes. He's hitting on threes. threes. That's three hits. Okay. And killing one, on killing two. Killing on twos. There's a Thunder Hammer. Yes. So that's, so that's three, three more dead. Three more dead. And then you have your Sergeant who comes back. Again, requiring six to hit. Yes. So can he be a hero? The answer is no. No. Okay. And then, so you are losing by four. Yes. But I'm also a living icon, which gives me plus one. Yes. So you're losing by five. You're searching for threes. So on two dice, looking for the three, and the answer is no. Oh, Although it was, it was close. close. That was a close, four. Close, close. So now it's a roll off for initiative. Yes. And, and I get a three. three. And I get a two. You do manage to run away, but you're running kind of this way. Yes, yeah. So we'll move no, that in just a minute. Yeah, there's no other close combats. So no. we'll be back with the roll to see if there's a turn five. Indeed. So in this custom mission, we have a turn five on a roll of a two plus, and we have a turn six on a roll of a five plus. So we're going to do the roll right now to see if we have a turn five. I think I want it to give myself a chance to get the win. Uh, I think Rich doesn't want it because he's shooting for the draw. So let's see what happens. And there it is. We do not have a turn five. <laughs> I can't five. believe it. I can't Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, uh, that is my saving grace. We've been looking for, well, 
I've been rolling ones yes. this entire time. So yes. looking for you to roll a one to not have this turn. We did give it to you. We'll be back with the post game, but I think that gives us a draw. I think it does, because I was winning 3-1 up to that point, but you're going to get two points for saving the critical last objective marker, and that's going to put us on a 3-3 draw. Now, I will say this, big brain tactic. If I had not got back into my Land Raider, I probably would have lost my Warlord and the game. Yeah. So we'll come back in a minute with the recap. Well, that's the game there, and an exciting finish. Well, for me, it was an exciting finish there. <laughs> yes, uh, I mean, what more could you actually ask for? Again, we do not tailor anything. You see it pretty much as it's filmed. Uh, the mission did what we wanted it to do, which was to be compelling, yeah. but still have an opportunity for additional turns, and that's exactly what happened on... Well, that isn't what happened. We didn't have the additional fifth turn. No, we, we, the goal of the mission design was to more or less guarantee a fifth turn yes. with the off chance of a sixth because we honestly feel that the four turn games are slightly too short yes and i'm actually pretty happy with the custom mission it's very different from the standard control the objectives control a zone kill everything here yes having the secondary objectives was slay the warlord and first blood there so I think you got to slay the Warlord because my Warlord was my uh, Master of Signals. Yes, I did. And we also modify our First Blood rule to be First Blood regardless of the turn. Because honestly, First Blood in the first turn is sometimes a wasted victory point that just is impossible to do there. So yes, I got the First Blood for killing that one uh, Rhino. One Rhino, yeah. There. And then I think you took, a, you took the first two generators. And I think, honestly, if I'm looking in hindsight, it was a tactical error on my part, not moving forward to be roadblocks. Because yes. again, I was still thinking that I need to survive. I need yes. to protect. But this mission here was designed to be sacrificial bodies, yes. especially the defensive force waiting for that force to come in from deep strike. Yes, and the fact that we've adjusted the objective markers to have a three up involved from shooting, yeah. multiple uh, hull points and a AV of either 13 or 14 makes them a lot more durable, right? Mm -hmm. Because otherwise we could have a very boring game where I could have just sat there and shot all the objective markers in the first two turns and nobody wants to actually see that. Mm -hmm. um, I like the, the changes that we made because they kind of forced me to make decisions as well. So yes, you're right. You made a tactical error perhaps in not putting your tax squads up in front of the objectives. Yeah. But I really had to choose in my first one to two turns, do I shoot at stuff or do I shoot at the objectives? Yeah. And shooting it at the objectives is not guaranteed. So I kind of went the route of trying to kill your shooting. Yeah. And... Yeah, I mean, I think it was, uh, overall, it was a pretty compelling game. I like this one. We're going to have to do this again. Yeah, something, uh, I think we might have to move the objectives a bit further back, maybe. But honestly, let us know what you think. I think you're right there. You went after one turn for the objectives, and as you saw, the three plus save saved nearly everything yes. from there. Yes. So the whole point was to design this, to not facilitate shooting, but still allow the off chance of doing it. But if you got into close combat, you were going to destroy it, you as you should, them. really, yeah. if you've managed to get into close combat. And you did manage to actually destroy both of them in close combat. I uh, did, yes. It wasn't the shooting that did it. Yeah, yeah. so I, I liked it. But who was your man of the match? Um, to be honest, there wasn't, I don't think, anybody that did just massive amounts of damage. But what I got to I got to say that the chaplain and his grave wardens on my left flank, they essentially held that entire flank. They were tanking tons of saves oh that they shouldn't have tanked, <laughs> which means that was stuff that wasn't shooting at my other stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, I got to give them credit. They helped kill a Contemptor. They killed a lot of other little things here and there, and they really forced you to kind of go into a defensive position and try and protect that last objective marker. Yeah, they wiped out my tactical squad with return fire. Their shooting is actually pretty good, honestly, with all those poison flesh banes. When stuff. they're close enough for the yeah. templates, yes. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, so I, I do agree with you. They were a, well, we said it, distraction conflicts. I couldn't not concentrate on them because they were the biggest threat in close combat to my final objective, which at the end of the day, I really needed to protect. Yes. And I was just throwing bodies in front there. Um, but yeah, for me, my man of the match was a bit harder. It went to the Palatine Blades because even though they didn't do all that much, they were pretty vital in the way this worked because they were the bodies to allow my deep strike to have some spread. Mm -hmm. Even because I deep strike mis mishapped there, well, <laughs> disordered mis my deep strike, yeah. moving 24 inches, we had to play that very, very corny, conga lining deep strike, which honestly I'm not a huge fan of, and I think deep strike should change a bit. Deep strike units yeah. should be able to deep strike in other places. Um, but it is what it is. It's the way the rules are written. Yep. It's the way we play it. Uh, 
they managed to kill a what is it your Jap your sky hunters because that again was a threat for me it was yes my sky hunters could have easily gone and kept uh, shooting uh, or even potentially charged against objective markers exactly they and were surprisingly durable too yeah yeah and then they came and just stood in front of the final objective and i think yeah. even if it had gone a turn five i think I, they would have still had enough umph to have just stayed there and protected that from at least assault shooting again really nothing you could do about shooting but we did whittle that down and i was very happy with the speed we whittled down your tanks there yes um it was interesting playing the storm eagle in a deep strike mode instead of flying in the one thing i did forget tactically made a mistake is that you can't assault from that vehicle in the deep strike which to me is a bit counterintuitive but they did clarify that in the, the FAQ? faqs yep. there so um again i think removing that clarification would still would make storm eagles viable more viable to come in via deep strike mm. because they're coming in hover if they die they don't have these terrible explosions which kills everything from a zooming flyer kind yep. of thing like this so your deployed squad can still get out if they're not pinned they can still charge but now you're still waiting that one turn of eating whatever is there. Um, yeah, personally, not a huge fan of the way it's written, yep. uh, those rules. Uh, we may, like we've been doing for a few things, have some own house rules for this. But that's actually a pretty big one, the house rule. <laughs> yes, and we don't want to go too far actually down the route of house ruling everything, right? Because yep. then you're essentially playing a very different game. And I'm sure many of you want to see the games played. Mostly rules is written. Yeah. Uh, what I will say is, is that this game also proved that flyers are not completely dead because I had no idea that you were taking a flyer when I built my list. Mm -hmm. This list doesn't have a lot of things that can actually deal with a flyer. Yeah. So I was very much at the mercy of uh, whatever that thing was going to do. And it, even though it's not able to deliver the, the payload, yeah. it still has a lot of offensive firepower that I really couldn't do anything about. And it was killing some stuff every turn. Yeah, it comes in and hover, so it is shootable by a lot. But by that point, I'd already whittled down a lot of the things that yeah. could kill it yeah. uh, at, at that point. Also, I will say it did help that your one land ready was immobilized in the first turn. <laughs> it is what it is. So uh, this is what happens when you don't play uh, Creeping Death and you're immune to all kinds of different things. But uh, yes, the Legion trade of the Death Guard doesn't stop you from taking dangerous terrain checks. And unfortunately, that's what happens when a land raider is in a room. I think it's kind of a tradition for us at Far East Wargaming that Land Raiders get stuck. <laughs> or Spartans. If you look yeah, at our Spartan. bat reps, so many of them are mobilized on ones, it's not even funny. <laughs> but look, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle report. We enjoy bringing it to you. We're looking at bringing some more custom missions, things outside of the normal six or eight that are in the books there. Yep. Um, just to honestly be a bit more exciting. Let us know what you think. If there's a custom mission you guys are playing, let us know in the comments. We're happy to try and run things. Or if you think this might need a tweak, let us know how you think we could tweak it. We'll be looking to bring, like I said, more battle reports in the future. And I think we're going to try and go towards some customized missions there um, just to make it more entertaining for you guys. Yeah, not just entertaining. If you also, the last thing I'll say about this mission is it's really thematic, right? You've got a small force, elite force of Death Guard loyalists yeah. that are attempting to go sabotage something in the traitor lines. Um, I mean, this could be different Black Shield bands. It could be all different kinds of things yeah. that were going and trying to accomplish the mission. And that's what I liked about it as well. Yeah. So look, if you've stayed to the end, thanks very much. Please like and subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell notification icon to get notified of our latest video releases. Drop a comment down below if you want to say some positive things. Constructive criticism is welcome as well. But from me, Richard, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Thanks everybody. Catch you on the next one.